Check, 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 check. Can you guys hear me? Okay, check, 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 check. Hello, can you guys hear me? Testing one, two, testing one, two, testing one, two. Check, check, one, two, check, one, two. Okay. All right, boys, I think we are uh, live. I think, I think we're live. Boys, it has been a while. Hello. Been a minute since I've been on this channel. I, I don't, I, I barely recognize myself on here. What is this? This is not, this is, this is the drip. Boys. Welcome. The The title says it all. I just kind of needed to place a live stream. Um, I think Amish is going to be cool with it. I didn't want to wake him up, but I'm, I'm hoping he's cool with it. Uh, so anyway, the context is we are talking to um, the people behind Paradox Gaming, who you might know because uh, they ran the whole I Show Speed thing. The uh, supposed <laughs> alleged scam. And now I'm talking to them live. So hello, fellas. How's it going? <laughs> How you doing, guys? You right? First of all, we don't appreciate being called scams without having evidence and proof. So glad we're having this Zoom call today so we can let oh, your view. Oh, well, yeah, let's go through the evidence. Okay, so first of all, everyone wasn't entitled to an opinion, but yeah. We're, gonna, we're, we're, we're hoping this is going to be a Pierce Morgan interview. And we're <laughs> hoping that your viewers can see what's right from wrong and labelizing someone as a scam without having any sort of proof, any sort of evidence whatsoever and um just having a 12 year old kid bot someone's live stream saying they're a scam does not make a company a scam is this i what hope you, you understand hold on and let's give everyone some context let's back back up into it let's give Sorry, everyone, everyone some, some context, context. are we on live are we oh, on youtube what, i was told that that they wanted it live i'm putting it on like a side channel of mine right now because i don't think most of my people know about paradox uh but i want it to be live so that no one thinks there's any funny business, no cuts, no, no, no. like that. Uh, this is why we ask for, uh, specifically, if you can if you can let your viewers know, we asked for a live video. We asked for a um, anything that you wanted. We can supply you beforehand. We can give you mm -hmm. anything and everything you wanted. So there's nothing hidden. We want to be as open as possible. And we want to talk straight, talking facts. We hope you've got some very intense questions for us. It's uh, currently 7.30 in the morning here. So we're not at the best. Uh, However, we'll be, we're gonna do our best. Yeah, it's yeah. it's it's well past midnight here as well. I mean, I, I, to be fair, I I had like uh, thirty minutes notice on this, but so let me back into this discussion with uh, just saying, we started talking um, when you guys posted. Uh, obviously, this whole I Show Speed thing happened. Just to give some people context, one of the biggest streamers in the world is I Show Speed, and you guys recently did some kind of sponsored stream with him. We can get into that about a some crypto project called paradox metaverse uh it was received i think it's fair to say pretty poorly and it was the idea was y'all were going to give away some ps5s uh y'all were going to talk about metaverse y'all surprised i show speed with cristiano ronaldo um and or the fake it was a fake actor cristiano ronaldo and pretty soon the chat started spamming uh l scam l speed whatever now that kind of devolved into I show speed, like turning off his mic supposedly, but the mic wasn't turned off. And actually that he was caught on a hot mic, basically saying like, Oh bro, this is bad. I, like it's too obvious. Yada, yada, yada. Saying things that it made it all sound very, sounded a little no, scary. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. We'll talk about it. Wait, wait, let me give the context for the people real quick. Okay. So let me just summarize. Okay. After this, I started investigating paradox gaming metaverse. Cause obviously you guys blew up. I do have some very uh, questions to you, for you, about your actual company, and we'll talk about that. But would you like to respond to anything I just said? All right. So first of all, uh, thank you for having us. Thanks sure. for having us on the show. Mm -hmm. We are Paradox Metaverse. I'm Amir Talio. This is my co-founder, yep. Fasil Tar my younger brother. Um, I want to start off the stream by saying, guys, we are not 12 years old. And if you're watching this, you're having a little bit of an understanding on how social media works. There's such things as trolls. 
there's not physically possible. We've gone through the footage. It's not physically possible for that many people at that given point to just keep on spamming, spamming, spamming. It's the not. Same, like, it the was same the same message over and over and over and over again. That was clearly a bot. And anyone that turns around and says it was not a bot is clearly naive, right? You and I have done uh, a bit of research into each other, and I realized that you are a man of dignity and a man of the people because you are obviously exposing fakes uh, and so-called scams. And some, raise concerns on and raise that could be. which is something that in the crypto space we believe is the best thing in the world because then it clears a path for people like us that are actually not scams. Mm -hmm. However, and guys, certain but it also gives us two opportunity to actually express our concerns and raise concerns by yourself and answer them. Let's worry about ourselves. Forget everyone else for a second, right? We got spam boys very, very clearly. We didn't actually realize this until we got a message from Hobie Exchange, the fourth biggest crypto exchange in the world, one of our partners. When they sent us a screenshot, because after the stream, we had an AMA with Justin Sun. Uh, uh, one... Sorry, one of the representatives of Justin Sun because he wasn't able to make it. Okay, sorry. My bad. We have to be very careful of what we say because we don't want to be called a liar. Uh, one of the representatives of Justin Sun one of the crypto oh, hobby life. billionaires um, is very big in the crypto space. Now, we had that plan straight after, after the uh, speed uh, stream. And obviously, clearly, he was watching the stream. So he's seen the, he's seen the snaps, he's seen the messages, and he's turned around and messaged uh, my younger brother and said, what the heck is going on? Why is everyone in the chat saying scam, 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 scam? At that point, I've turned around looked at him and I thought, what the freaking heck? Because don't forget, if you watch the stream, I was a part of the stream. I was messing around. I was joking. We made it entertaining. Yeah, we were making it engaging. Yeah, we made it engaging because his whole stream, his whole channel is about entertainment. The people don't tune in to see um, uh, knowledgeable videos. or it, that would be out of character. It's, it's out yeah. of character. It's out of Speed's character. So we made it entertaining. Now, you have to understand, the minute I've turned around and seen that, I've turned around and done this to speed, 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 lock it off one second. Let me do it. I said, I said, it. so he's cut the mic. As far as we was concerned, it was yeah, the mic was cut. One of the main reasons for this as well, so I'm to interrupt you, Amir, was because you have to understand, we know when this happens, it was clearly a bot attack for it to just instantaneously happen. So the key thing there was to turn off comments so we can see what was going on. Why do you think it was bot? I, I still haven't seen the evidence that it was botted. Because uh, just so for context, different live chats are uh, act differently and people like speed, they all, it's like kind of a high mind. They all go W speed, L speed, W speed. So it makes sense to me. They'd be like L scam, L scam, L scam. That kind of sounds exactly like speed's no, comments. Someone's saying, sorry, someone's sorry. saying the L. Do you want to quickly sorry, just sorry, bought his me. channel so he has no. an understanding? What I'm trying to say is L space scam space, space chain. That doesn't even make sense. For the same free word, let the same sentence be I think y'all are confused by thousand. just how live like I mean, live chat of that, like scams, speed it, works. It wasn't that. So I do understand where you're coming from, but you have to see the likelihood of a whole imagine a whole YouTube video talking about 30,000 uh, people all being once. happy, all being normal, and then out of the engaging. blue. If 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 anyone so watched that stream, if anyone watched that stream up until just randomly, we randomly out of the blue. 30,000, 40,000 spam messages, scam, 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 scam. Up until then, everybody was loving it. Everybody was having a good time. I mean, Speed met Ronaldo as far as he was concerned. It was the most entertaining stream so far today. Up until now, we are looking at the footage all over TikTok. Everybody is going crazy over the footage. It's gone viral to a different level. And this is what we said to Speed before we went on live with him. We have a special guest for you. We're not going to tell you who it is. However, we know this is going to go viral. So the whole aspects of making it go viral and, engaging, the, yeah. and making it engaging. So we can also, because we made it very clear at the beginning of the stream, we are the sponsors, right? We are the sponsors of today's live stream with iShow Speed. Okay. We weren't hiding nothing. We weren't trying to just, just turn around and say, oh guys, buy Paradise Crypto. No, we made it very clear because I want to be 100% clear from the beginning. Randomly out of the blue, I think it was like 40 minutes in, 50 minutes in, we should just start getting this boy, bang, 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 30,000 minutes. And then yeah, what's I mean, happened is, what's happened is. Again, again I, I do want to take issue around. with this botted point because I, I just want to say one thing. I also noticed when the comments started coming in, and you're right, they, they weren't obviously during the part where you're showing the Cristiano Ronaldo thing. I mean, I think I can show like parts of, I, I think it was like, there's a guy who like put together some of the the more egregious clips. Like I show speed literally holds up the, the, the uh, phone to, to the, promote their brand. To the camera. And he's like, he says this. Right now, so I can see what he sees, bro. 
They're saying I like they're saying I'm gonna be we, no, they're saying I'm gonna be very happy, bro. Just follow them, bro. Please, bro. Like I'd like I genuinely want to see who the hell it is, bro. So that's when they start, started showing. Uh, um, we we, we could have had nothing, but. Uh, oh, it, I'll, I'll tell you which part. It, it's where Aisha Speed's holding the phone to the camera, and he's like, he's like, bro, I just want to see what this is. It's go to Paradox Metaverse IO. Da da da. That's when the L scam thing started happening because, frankly, no one's heard of you guys. It seems like a sketchy crypto. Now we're gonna talk about the specifics because I don't just want to take no, no, but I, I, random I wanna, chatters wanna, for granted. But I'm just saying that's when the, the stuff happened. I think I can understand why it happened. I don't think. You guys were bot attacked. I think y'all are just saying that because it is convenient. But like, if you just look at Speed's chat, that's just how they are. Sorry, no. sorry, 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 sorry. So you don't think that was a bot attack? L you don't think that L was a space L space scam? L Why would someone L bot attack you? I think scam. I. Chain. It didn't even so, make sense. So once it wasn't even related to us. Y'all are just facing an army of Speed's fans. That's just what they do. Go, okay, go. We understand. We understand afterwards when we've looked at other TikTok videos and, and viral videos of Speed that yeah, his fans do sometimes yeah, troll yeah. him. But thirty thousand. No, no, but they no, they just spam the same thing. It's like some chats are different. Like some chats, everyone's okay, typing so, one thing and different okay, things. So what we're trying to interrupt you. So what we should go down to what we're saying is. It is still in this current climate and market conditions hard for Web2 marketing to take place for Web3 products then. That is really then what we should be discussing then. If we ain't got Web3... No, 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 no. We want to go no, into no, no. that. One second, one second, one second. There's no point having a conversation. No, no, no. I'm going to have a conversation with this because yeah. you're saying that it's not void. You have no clear evidence that it isn't. From anyone no, that but you have to provide the evidence. You're the one saying that this guy who always gets tons of anyone with the anyone with the IQ can see that that was bought. I mean, up until now, our but phones. Why was? Crazy. Why would anyone to spend money out. to buy it? Botting takes a lot of money. Why would they do that? Oh, what? It takes a lot of money. It cost okay, dollars. it costs twelve dollars. We, we, we looked we, into we, it. We had to contact someone, and it cost fourteen dollars for the amount of. Uh, spam bots they done. If you go 14. on to SNN followers, we hired a security expert, okay. expert because our Telegram group got hacked in the sense where we was getting botted there yeah. as well. So when we asked the security ex expert, what is going on? How is this happening? They said you have been botted. They've traced it back to SNN followers. For fourteen dollars, you can have a thousand bot comments. Same, the same, same com yeah. same comment. Okay, okay, but but that but. Scam uh, underscore chain doesn't even make sense. It's fine. It's not a problem. No, no, maybe it okay. won't buy. No, maybe it won't buy. But 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 I just want to say this one bot. point: bot Telegram scams or, or bot yeah. Telegram bots make sense because they're trying to scam people into buying their really thing, right? So bot YouTube comments bot on a thing that nobody saw scam. coming. Bot YouTube comments that nobody saw coming. It just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Now I do want to get into the specifics of paradox and give you guys a chance to no, no, explain I, yourself we're gonna we're, we're gonna go through that in a second i just want to cl clarify one thing because the main thing that's going around right now is the muted mic situation right okay that's the most thing that's going by right now where sure. i'm turning around which is which is me by the way i turn around and say um oh my god i've invested 10 million dollars into this and i'm going to lose it all because your chat is saying they're a scam when i went back and i seen the message on the phone from hobie global mm -hmm. They are one of our partners. We are getting listed on the world's biggest exchange. We had Hobie Global in our offices three days prior. They done their full due diligence. They played the game. They looked at our smart contract. We had our smart contract audited by Certi, the world's biggest security auditing firm. Everything was done. We gave our passports. Every single team member that worked on this project with over 30 members handed over their IDs, made sure everyone says they, who are, they are who they say they are. Everything was fine. Then when our partners send us a picture saying, why is everyone in the chat saying you're a scam? When up until the whole live stream, nothing was even mentioned about the crypto. The only time, the, the only time he's pulled out his phone and goes, go follow Paradox Metaverse, everyone just turned around and says it's a scam. Do you not, under no, do you not understand no that though? Do you not understand why they would say that? Because people think every crypto is a scam. Up until 10 years ago, Bitcoin was a scam. Everyone that didn't listen to him is a multi-millionaire no, no, no. now. It turns out if you open a cryptocurrency in your basement or your bedroom or you label it as a meme coin, you're loved by the community. But if you actually take a step to use Web2 marketing heavy on a Web3 product, apparently you're too good to be true and you must be a scam. Now, give me the definition of what you think a scam is before we continue this conversation because clearly there must be some miscommunication. I think scams are false advertising uh get rich quick schemes something that is too good to be true get rich quick schemes okay so um hobby global is a one of the top tier crypto exchanges in the world um if you look at their last five projects that they, they listed as a prime existing hobby 
uh, sorry, if you look at the last five projects that got listed on on Hobie exchanges. But before I go to Hobie, can, can I just average, ask you how much you paid average, ISO sorry, speed sorry, for, sorry, that, sorry, for that ad? Sorry, 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 how much, how much average, did you pay ISO speed for that? The average volume of people buying is around $5 million on a very good top tier project. We have been rated A plus by Hobie Global. $5 million. I don't care about up any of this. Today, a lot of this stuff you can today. buy, I don't up, believe, no, no. I, I don't up, trust, today, I, I don't trust today, Hobie today, Global to be we honest. We are $10 million in. We are $10 million in. Okay. So you're saying a get rich quick scheme, even though I've invested $10 million of my own money to make $5 I'm million. Not say, I'm not saying you think you're running you a, get rich, a get rich quick scheme. You no, said it's a get rich quick scheme. No, for other people, advertising for other people. You can dump tons of money into setting up a scam. That's clear. People have done it oh, for so, years. So, so, okay, so I'm a genius now because I'm going to invest $10 million of my money to walk away with $5 million. You know what? That was the long-term plan. That was the long, you know what? You got us. I'm not you accusing you of it. I'm just saying, I'm just well, you saying. you did because you said you're exposing a scam. You definitely, you defined us a scam before you even asked us the question. Wait, wait, when did I say this? You look at this thinking, you know what? It doesn't really make sense. When did I say this? You, uh, we're not on God, uh, Coffee Zilla's exposing scammers. Is is that what we're not on? Is this? Uh, what I thought we. I thought I thought we were talking. I thought we were. Uh, I. I think the, the title of the stream is the crypto the whole, sponsors. The I do, I do happen to, listen, listen, I do happen to think you guys are a scam based on evidence that I'm about to present, but it's not that, uh, it's not that you're, you're saying like, you said it with oh. no evidence. I'm going to present okay. the evidence, then I'll well, call you a scammer. I don't want to call you a scammer until I present you the evidence. I just want to go over the viral clip that's going around right now. Okay. Whereas when the mute mic was muted, I've turned uh -huh. around and said, oh my God, why am I getting messages from Hobie, sure. our partners, saying that we are a scam? You have to understand, we have not people that have just come out of the blue. We have only come out of the blue to speeds viewers. We have been around the block. We have been around here and working on Paradox for the last year. Mm -hmm. But to speeds viewers, we are just guys that have turned up out of the blue. However, I am not new to speed. I have not just randomly met speed. Money Kicks, had, Money Kicks and me took speed to um, Chaiwala about a month and a half ago when he'd done the charity football match. Mm -hmm. A few people recognized me from there. And then when we took him to Shisha the following night, a few people recognized it. We're not just new to this channel. We're just new to Speed's followers. So as far as Speed's followers are concerned, who are these guys just sort of randomly popped up? Even Money Kicks with over 4 million subscribers on his YouTube channel. As far as he was concerned, because he was in the stream, he was labeled a scammer as well. But that was someone that has been with him in the past as well, but just new to his channel. So as far as his channel is concerned, who are these random people? Why are they holding him hostage? And I don't know if you recognize, there was a big guy, a security guard, wearing a hat. The one that brought in um, Ronaldo in the first place. But that's actually a security guard. You cannot make anyone turn up to any place without their permission. If Speed didn't want to be here, he would not have turned up here. We had a phone call with his manager, Mason. Right, everything was explained to him. Other, even his manager knew about. I think everyone knows involved. Speed knew, right? Everyone, everyone knows knew. Speed was it's on board. Entertainment. That's why his fans follow him because they find it entertaining. They don't follow him because he's boring. They find him hilarious. Well, I don't we understand. I don't understand the point you're trying to make. Of course, Speed willingly to did this. Promote our point in the sense of his fans will find the game engaging because he's a gamer. We own a play and earn game. Our whole narrative is you've been sitting there playing games all your life for free. Now we're coming up with an alternative, a triple A game that you can in return, when you play, you earn money. So this was our marketing strategy. Now, a lot of people are not used to this marketing strategy. People are used to Web3 marketing, but we are people that are, uh, we've done something different. We want to build a triple A game and connect a cryptocurrency to it. Not a lot of people do this, but the people that do do this do very well. The people that don't do this are companies like Axie Infinity and Sandbox, but that's why their graphics are very bad. We've done something that's completely different. Some of our developers or our game developers, they used to work for Epic Games. Some of our game developers work for the best of the best companies. Okay. Our smart developers. All right, all right, all right, all right. I, I do have to cut you off because you, ha you have an ability to rant. And I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt to like, like to talk. Wait, but no, I, no. But at the same time, I need to talk. I don't want to interrupt you, but you have to see from my point of view, to be awake for a week, living on two hours sleep, getting ready for launch, the entire team's exhausted. I mean, we had girls, we had about five members of girls in our office that were crying because of everything that's going on. Of course, that doesn't add to it, but it is a stressful situation. So you have to understand that when we are talking the way we're talking, yes, we're going to be stressed because everything we work towards is just being 
within a minute based on something looking from a far away view. We'd spend the yeah, whole I, I do... last year. You know what the funny thing is? You, you know what the funny thing is? Okay, I, at some point I'm gonna have to get a word in edgewise, but I'll let you talk one more time and then y'all are gonna let me talk, okay? We have Go worked ahead. day and night for the last year to make this, as you probably know, you've probably done your research. It takes two years on average to make a triple A game, right? Yes, yes or no? On average, anyone that does a bit of research in triple A games, they know it roughly takes between two and three years for a triple A game, as far as we are concerned. We hired staff to work night and day so we can get this project done within a year. We're finally ready to launch. Now, we have staff members that work endlessly, day and night, right? Day and night. We have invested our own money, our own money, our own time. I'm a CEO, this is my younger brother, right? You can see that we have put in a lot of time and effort into the marketing, a lot of time and effort into our product. We are not just out of the blue come up. We've been running for the last year. We had our crypto NFT collection released in April. Every yeah, other company that released their NFTs, they're nowhere to be seen. We're the only company that is still around. And yet we get called and labeled a scam. Yet all these other companies, no, no. They, they, okay, they're just NFTs died out. We're the only company that are actually delivering on our promises. You turned around and said, you're selling a dream, right? Something, offering something that you guys are not going to do. So let me give you an example. If you watch the live stream that happened after Speed's live stream Which was with Hobie Global, if you go on YouTube, you can, you can stream it right now. We had a different kind of conversation. It wasn't very entertaining. Do you know why? Because the audience that was watching Hobie Global were crypto audiences. So we, so we educated we, him on crypto. We All right. Okay. 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 I can't, listen, listen, listen. Hold on. It, like, I, I haven't even gotten my point out, right? Y'all are saying, oh, like, oh, you call it. me a scam based on no evidence. Sorry, sorry, I haven't sorry, gotten one point it. out yet. Now, let me make a point. Okay. Everyone be quiet for a while. I understand you, what you're saying. You're saying, hey, we went to this naive audience and they labeled us a scam. They think everything in Web3 is a scam. It's a bear market. That's just kind of how it is, right? Okay. I then talk to you. I say, hey, I'm going to make a video on you guys. I didn't say, hey, I saw Speed's video and I just randomly thought you were a scam. I said, hey, I looked at your website. It looks like you're promoting extremely high APY. That doesn't make sense. This looks like a scam, not in the sense that you didn't put money into it, but it's seeming to promise me money with very little, uh, very little on my part. So I look at it. I go to your website. And here, I'll pull up your website right now. I have the white paper here. Uh, and we can pull up. So you guys have seven different like avenues to me, a lot of them. Remind me a lot of basically Ponzi schemes, to be quite honest with you. Like, for instance, yeah. your Parapad, where I can get 20% a year or 8 to 10% a year when I stake my Para. Or my Paradow, where I can get 10% a year in returns. Or my Paracoin, where I can get, what is, what did you say? Like, it, I have to stake it for 28 to 2,888 days. And it turns into P save, a virtual currency. And as long as I stake it, then I get like this return on my investment based on this ridiculous flow chart. I mean, what is it you guys are trying to sell? I'm looking at your actual white paper and I'm saying this is ludicrous. Okay. Let me just point out a very yeah, obvious. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me point out an obvious, let me point out an obvious problem. Okay. So you guys. Okay. Say somewhere in here that uh, the average percent APY is 20% staked, right? Like average staking APY of para is 20%. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. This now, is the way, wait, 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 wait. 20% APY. What is the inflation of this coin? Well, if we go to your tokenomics, we'll go to your tokenomics and we see the inflation year one. Can chat see that? Inflation year one is 384%. So I'm getting 20% on my money and inflation year one is 384%. That means to get my money back, I'd have to stake for 20 years to get my money back from year one. The tokenomics don't make sense, gentlemen. And frankly, I have to take serious issue with your claim that this is a AAA game. I know you love it, and I'm not trying to be insulting, but this is not a AAA game. This looks like it's PS2 graphics, which is why I was surprised the, you were giving away PS5s, because it, it makes you look bad. Will, well, you know what? The live stream didn't do it justice, because to be honest, it was running at 60 frames per second, 2K extreme. resolution. We tried to run it at the same resolution on live stream, and it was a horrible problem. If we ran at 1080p, it would have kept it at 60 frames per second, and would have gave our game a lot more better. Uh, no, delight. I didn't watch it on. T I, I'm telling you, I don't watch. I don't watch Speed's content. 
I saw yeah. it pop up. I went to your we your website. I went to your YouTube channel, and I looked at this game, and I said, yeah, this looks like a basic game you designed in Unreal Engine. I'm sure you have developers behind it. But you admit, you, you wait, 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 you in your understand. own marketing, Compared you describe yourself, wait a second, okay. you Compared describe yourself as an indie okay. game. You one describe second. yourself as an indie game, and one you one have one the audacity okay. to come on my stream okay, and call one yourself one a AAA one game one when one you one describe one yourself one as an indie okay. game. Give me, no, no, I don't want to interrupt you, but just give me. Let's you are interrupting me. Of course you are. You don't call yourself an indie game on your YouTube channel and then have the audacity to come on my channel and call yourself AAA. You're, you're an indie game. The competitors, Sandbox and Axie Infinity, we're a freaking triple A game. Should we bring up the footage of Sandbox? Let's bring no, no, up no, the no, footage. I'll go back there. Let's I thought you were saying your 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 web two marketing. No, 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 so if you're web two marketing, no, you're comparing yourself to real triple A games. You're comparing yourself to Call of Duty to PS5 games. You're nowhere close. You're an world. indie game studio, which is fine. Okay, but look, you're not a triple A game studio. Can we agree on that? We are, we are a triple A game in the play to earn sector. Please find me another example of a oh, game that's on. as far long as ours in cryptocurrency. If you were to give me an example of Star Atlas, for example, who spent over a million dollars on a cinematic trailer and only last week started releasing play of a character running around in a desert in a little place. In a sandbox. So give me that example. Now, if you were to mention any other cryptocurrency that's marketing their AAA game in the play to earn sector, I'll happily compare our graphics to them. I'll happily compare anything else to there. And we can do it based on opinion and facts there. But if you're just going to say AAA game graphics, can you're going to compare- Oh, well, you're not as good as Fortnite. Yes, because we ain't got now, a freaking billion dollars behind us. But we're, we're indie studios. But, we are gonna but within work. the crypto space, we are a triple. But a nobody game. plays crypto games. These crypto that's games aren't getting opinion. any players. That's because your viewers don't play it. No, no, no. Look, that's in your opinion. But look, we have a no, no, no. Here. That's fact. Look at the recent stats on Decentraland in Sandbox. When people aren't make money, making money. When people stop making money with Ponzi Nomics. Okay. Guess what? The viewers go bye bye okay. because you're now no, no, competing no, no, no. Let me with real no, no, no. games, no, no, no. real no, no. Fortnite triple A no. games. I don't Look, let me explain something to you now with our logic on our game. Now, if you want to call our business flawed, that is your opinion. But can you please at least hear our answer uh, when we talk about this? Now, the way our logic comes is from this. Sure. Now, if you were to look at Fortnite, a game that has been made that makes billions of dollars a year uh -huh. and the profit goes to Epic Games. Um, the way it works, they have a V-Box virtual currency where they're just buying outfits and characters and guns and everything else. What they're doing with that essentially is... Buying a virtual currency, which is used on placing store points, and then converts over to a V-Box currency, which is a virtual currency that they get, and the company keeps the profits. Now, imagine if there was a system in place where, like the Paradox Metaverse, where all the outfits, the guns, the cars, and everything else you buy are an NFT. All the money from the cryptocurrency actually goes into where? The pool. And back into the ecosystem. This is how our game works. It goes back into the, the microtransactions. If we were to get, say, for an example, a high amount, that microtransaction will be enough to fill the reward pool and be enough to fill the uh, staking pool. Now, you mentioned about our staking process. Now, if you want to ask a bit more questions about that, first, we'll go into detail. That, is, that was the first point you mentioned. Now, the way our staking process works is I'm going to read it from the paper and elaborate a bit more. Now, the power token is used to purchase PSAVE, a virtual currency to stake. So what we are doing there is we're able to have a virtual currency called PBOX, which function. is able to be displayed in our game, on our website, through a KYC login, which is connected to your MetaMask wallet. So you don't always have to be connected to view it, yeah? Now, you're able to see your virtual currency to reflect your actual stake. Now, the actual cryptocurrency is staked, whilst it's in your wallet, on our DEX. We are encouraging users to take their Paradox tokens on the decks that we want to launch in return to be able to get, yes, a 20% return per year, but that's based on the 0 0.02 or 0 0.2, my head's everywhere, percent transaction fee for any transaction that happens on our decks. This fee is similar to what is done on PancakeSwap and similar to fees done on Uniswap. Um, we believe it will work in our ecosystem because it is a fork of the Uniswap with some slight adjustments, clearly. And the added bonus as well is that the launch pads, you'll have... Once it's staked on our power decks, power decks, you'll have permission and access to actually invest into projects on our launch pad, power pad. We are only going to launch products that are launching on central exchanges because they get to do the extra security checks and go through the long process of being a more certified product that they users want to invest in. And you these can... are just key selling points no, that no, we want to sorry, have. Sorry, and now, just... One second, Emilio. Now, you might say, okay, cool. That still doesn't explain the fact that there's a 300% XYZ inflation year one year. Yeah, but what you have to understand as well is we're not minting tokens. 
to reward our users for staking. We have an ecosystem of product, for example, with the products Metaverse, which has items that people can buy. The transaction rate you've seen already from tokenomics, 50%, uh, it goes to the reward pool and it goes to the staking pool. Our staking process won't launch until our DEX is ready and we're sufficient enough to do this. Now, that isn't selling a dream. That is using facts and our vision to make something happen. Like every other crypto company started out there. Have they invested more time and effort in doing something big and grand like ours? Probably not. Do they hide their face and use a boy or a yacht club NFT or something <clears throat> to reflect it? Fair enough. Now, you can't just say, oh, you're flawed because you're not perfect. Yeah, we're not perfect. We're human. And along the way, these might be updated over time to be more efficient um, because we're not perfect and we're going to learn. No, and I'm not. I'm not saying you're not perfect, perfect but when you're... That. In, in your own advertising, you're saying like, oh, look, cool. You earn an average of 20% APY, and then you make some goofy statement about your bank only earns you 2%. You're clearly offering yourself as some kind of banking product. But you no, don't mention no, no. that regular inflation is much lower than 384%. So you kind of hide the fact, don't you, that, hey, 20% staking rewards doesn't compare to 384% inflation. Why don't okay. you mention that? Okay, let's discuss that then. Uh, banks give you it doesn't 2%. doesn't make any sense. You, okay, look, if you were to compare it to a bank, which is why we did the comparison, is because it's easier for non-crypto investors to actually use this to actually understand. Because if you were to explain anything about cryptocurrency, you, they sorry, don't understand look it. There, look there. So uh, we're sorry, looking at your live stream. Sorry, guys. We don't want you thinking we're reading off a script. We're looking um, at your live stream in case you're trying to... Um, no. make a hit for us. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Um, off topic there. But yeah, um, so essentially screen. it's... Look, Banks give you 2% rewards if you were to stay uh, in the UK at least. Uh, save, wherever I saw, £3,000, $3,000, whatever you want to call it. 2%, they keep it for the, a year minimum with a three-year contract that you can't take it out. Mm -hmm. Now, imagine if the inflation is at 9%, 10%, or in the UK, like it is now, 11%. That is um, eight times more than it should be. Now, you're saying the inflation in the first year is 3 to 30%. Now, almost every cryptocurrency out here has a high inflation rate in the first year. This is expected, which is why you have vesting schedules to reduce the amount that does get released. Um, for example, if we go back to the tokenomics, um, uh, you don't have the one I have up, but it's a bit more efficient. Am I able to screen share this? So they can, can, see? We, can we screen share? No, I, I'd rather be pulling it up myself. It just messes up the stream. Uh, it's an Excel, so it's a bit more uh, in detail. I mean, uh, but at least is it like basically this thing the tokenomics thing no uh, it's, very yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit more detailed it's a bit more laid out uh yeah sorry I, I have no way of sharing that right now so that's the only problem oh right, we'll get okay. sent over to so we'll get sent over. so essentially look in the first two months after tge launched there was zero invest uh there was zero uh release the reason why we did that is the first release is going to be taking place just close to the 17th of February. That is 25th February. No, 17th, close to it. Uh, because we're going to have a boxing match. There's YouTubers, social boxing. Hey, 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 hey. Actually, actually, I do want to talk about that, okay? No, no, we'll go into no, it in a second. We'll go into it in a second. Who's, who's, the, who's, the, who's, the, so, box, who's the boxing event? Oh, so we're a scam though, right? I don't know we if don't, you're a scam. I think, think you are actually, product, but right? I think you but are, you, but yeah. You think I'm a scam? Okay, well, we're going to Okay, talk. so... I don't know too much about you. I have, however, pulled up some of your videos. You're friends with, is it Keemstar, right? Keemstar. Baller Alert. They they do all these hit pieces on scammers, right? I don't know who you're talking about. Oh, Keemstar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you, who'd you say? Yeah. Baller? You mean Baller Busters? Is it, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, is it Baller Alert? Baller Busters? I don't know what it is. You're um, talking about Baller Busters, Keemstar, who else? Keemstar. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, you said we're a scam, right? No, we don't have a vibe of you. No, I, be I believe right? based on what I've seen of your marketing, where you're saying I'm going to make 20% here, 30% here. Side. If you understand marketing, you understand our product. Let me give you an example. Wait, wait. What marketing do you mean? I under what do you mean? I understand your product. What do you mean by that? What do I understand about that, getting a 10x to 100x multiple? What about yeah. 10x to 100x multiple is just marketing? Am I supposed to get the lulls okay, from look. the marketing there? Okay, look. Uh, let no, me no, give no, 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 You have the lulls. Let no, me have okay. Let me have All right, cool. So what I'm trying to say is, right, what I'm trying to say is your definition of a scam is promising someone something that that's not going to happen. Now you took us off on this whole YouTuber's boxing event. You're going to turn around and say, what, that's not even happening? Is that what we're getting I have at? no idea. I'm just asking about it. I didn't say that wasn't happening. You have seven, you have seven different parts of your whole like empire if thing. If you know Keemstar, if you know Keemstar, um, why don't you get him on a call? And ask him we had a conversation. And ask him, ask him who we are. Because the thing is, what we show on social media 
right now or what we saw on social media uh, in the future, this is announcements. These are announcements to keep our price of our crypto coin at stable conditions. Like I'm trying to explain to you, there's a reason why our unlock period of our tokens for the community is exactly working out to be around the 17th of February. Because on 17th of February, you will be able to purchase pay-per-view tickets. However, you will only be able to purchase pay-per-view tickets for the Paradox Boxing event with Paradox Crypto Coin. So when the unlock happens, and as you know, people, when they get their tokens invested, they sell 90% of the time. They sell. What that does is pushes the price down for Crypto Coin. I understand coin. that. What and you're trying do, to do the Andrew Tate versus Jake Paul fight, right? No, we're mm. not trying to do the Andrew Tate versus Jake Paul fight. There was a leak. You said on social media and I that- I said, do what you not want to do with it. It's already out there. No, it's you said on social there. media that you were doing the Jake Paul, Andrew Tate fight. Was that not true? I did not say that. I did not say that, right? You did. There is There is screenshots going out there is where we people. are in discussions, right? And obviously the whole money kicks being wait, with wait, Jake Wait, 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 one of the admins that controls my Discord channel leaked it by accident when he was meant to send it to a direct message to myself, ended up sending it into a main group chat. But, then they said, okay, you know what? It's out. Just fuck but, it. It is what it but, is. But, that so you said, part. you said, hold on, hold on. Let's just get everyone on the same page. You said, guys, can we refrain from sending the screenshot that was leaked about Jake Paul versus Andrew Tate in February for the Paradox boxing match? We don't want that out there on social Have you media. Got the screenshot of that which, screenshot? which all which all would be fine, except the very next screenshot from you is I don't care, spread the word of Jake and Andrew. Let's get paradox everywhere. So I'm confused. Because yes, why then not it was want too that out late. there? You is make the best of not? a bad situation. You make the no, best no. of a By then, it was already on social media. Everyone had seen the But screenshot. if it's not real, just it's deny it. If, if you don't actually Everyone have the fight, the just deny it. Everyone had seen the screenshot from Jake Paul to Money Kicks saying about the Jake Paul. No, 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 no. Is it real, no, though? Is it real? No, for sure. We cannot if confirm. If you got the screenshot, no, we cannot. can't confirm. Nor deny whether or not we are in talks to make it happen on our roster, on our card. Now, if we finally do get to make that happen, we'll make an amazing official announcement to come with it. Um, if there is a screenshot well, of the actual your, conversation. Your, your brother and partner you is telling it, everyone to share it around. You're telling everyone, just like, say it's true. I, I don't know why you're within saying that. Within our community. With, within our Nobody's community. Share around within our community without other members. We want it's to give them so, I, mean, so this I don't know what spread the word word of Jake and Andrew. Let's get paradox within our every community. We have you a Discord say channel, everywhere. We have a Telegram you say channel. Everywhere though. Why? We have a Discord channel. We have a Telegram okay. channel. We have internally okay. Snapchat group. I guess that's what, what you mean. No, no, forget that. Long story short, it shouldn't be a bad thing for us to share back and forth with our community about potential fighters we might have on and see the reply we get and the response. Because at the end of the day, Andrew Tate is a controversial character. So we wanted to get a response from them after we Let's came show out. you guys the screenshot. Sure. You know what? Let's show you the guys because we're apparently scammers and we're lying. We're lying. So, apparently, so we're not lying. trying to make this happen. I'm right? not saying the Tate thing makes you a scammer. This is what makes you a scammer. This is what makes you a scammer. 10 to 100 Listen, eggs. The, the thing is, everything you're showing us is stuff like, oh, you said this, you're a scammer. You said this, this you're a scammer. This is your white paper. No, I didn't say Tate oh, made no, you a scammer. I'm saying all the ridiculous APYs and the 10 to 100 X makes you a scammer. I'm okay. sorry. So, so we're scammers, right? Is that is that what you're saying? We lied about the Jake Paul Andrew point. Is that what you're saying? We're scammers. We lied. I'm not saying that Jake Paul Andrew Tate has anything to do with you being a scammer or not. You mentioned it. Okay. You miss anyway. You, you, pull, know exactly you, you pulled up. You you done something very interesting, and we see this happen a lot in social. You guys media. remind me like it's that you want to be up. like the Tate brothers. Oh my god! But you, like... you, you you put up a screenshot of a Discord message in mm -hmm. our Discord to what? To expose us. But we're no. the ones that put it out there within that community. No, I'm so asking, you're you denying you saying it. So I'm like, you definitely us? said it. You, you're you lying about not saying it. You're like, I didn't say to put it everywhere. Well, you're literally yeah. saying put it everywhere. I, I don't said, know what you're, you're the, talking about. I said, put the footage yeah. within <laughs> our... Okay, let, 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 let. We can't not disclose or dis, uh, or confirm that Andrew Tate and okay. Jake Paul on our roast up when we have an official day. announcement we shall make it there yes there was a leaked image of a conversation that was had with sir jake paul and uh let me I'm, I'm just gonna go I ahead and guess that, that that's to, not gonna you know happen I mean? because nobody trying to launch a huge pay-per-view is gonna make it exclusive to a paracoin
I'm just going to oh, tell you that okay. right now. Um, okay, look, what you should do then is you should probably ignore the next six fights for Misfits because we probably ain't going to be sponsoring them. Oh, okay. you didn't know about that. So, okay, so like I said, could we get Keemstar somehow if you can get hold of him? I got my new phone, so I ain't got his number. But I mean, you're good pals with him. Did you know one thing as well? Um, Keemstar arranged uh, between, you know, Mams, KSI's manager. So this I have is no idea who that is. I don't uh, talk Kingstar to a lot of these people. Is Mams, you, you must know who KSI is, his biggest YouTuber. I know who there. KSI, I'm saying I don't know his manager. I don't know, I don't uh, talk his to name, a lot his of these manager, people. His manager's name is Mams. Um, and we was about to sign a deal uh, sponsoring the Paradox, uh, sorry, the Misfits uh, YouTubers boxing event where Jake Paul was meant to be, uh, sorry, Logan Paul was meant to be fine other than the, well, until Jake, uh, Logan Paul ended up mashing up his knee. Now, we were supposed to be sponsoring his next 12 fights. In return, Misfits was supposed to be sponsoring Powered Paradox Events sponsored by Misfits. Now, these are conversations that happened a month ago, which we are going to pull up the screenshots now. Yeah. So wait, 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 wait. Real, real, real quick, real quick, because I'm trying to understand. Do you think that having a lot of money and being able to it's buy not about influencers. having the money you're saying we're telling people we're going to be doing stuff and not doing it. Well, we actually trying no, to do it and what are you it. talking about? That's not That's what I not said. What the definition of a scam is. You just said you're, it earlier. One second, you're gonna have to let me one speak. Second, but you said it earlier. You said it earlier. Y'all we are don't interrupting think it's each happen. other now. It's never gonna happen. That's literally your words. You said I don't think it's gonna happen because it's related to a paradox crypto coin. Yeah, I'm gonna show you messages between Mams, nice. myself. And I, Keemstar a month ago, and Salt Puppy, you know the boxer. They're not listening. Uh, no, no, but th that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to insinuate to your no, viewers. It's the money. It's the money part. I don't care about the boxing. No, but that's what I'm trying to say. It. You're trying to make out like every single thing that we are doing is a lie. We're trying to prove to you with evidence it's not a lie. But we are trying to prove. How are, to you are, okay? Prove to me with evidence that I can make ten to a hundred x. On your para para okay. can you platform. prove to me okay is anyone and everyone in this crypto coin uh uh crypto space if you've got any viewers that are into crypto ask them what's the most amount of money ever made on dogecoin dogecoin it's a shit coin it's a meme coin people no. have made hundreds of thousands i don't even know how much it is for example it's, it happens for example do you know why it happens because you have a product doesn't matter whether it's good doesn't matter if it's bad if it has hype if it has hype and you've got millions of people that are going to buy that product, the sure. price of the coin is going to go up. So how can you turn around and say our product might or might not do this when yes. you don't know yourself? Because we're going to have marketing, strategic marketing. So are you are you saying that I could basically, hey, you could win the lottery, so it makes sense to advertise the lottery. Right? That's basically okay, what you're so saying. But you're saying, you're saying. The lottery doesn't advertise their one billion. Oh my God. Wait. Okay. Let, you're let saying Paris, Paradox countless. is offering countless. not a mere 8 to 10% when users simply stake Para, but a 10x to 100x multiple of this when they invest into projects launching of Parapad. So how are you offering yeah. this when your only example of like how this might happen is if people invest in the random one coin that takes off, right? There are a few coins every that year that take off by pure I, I luck. And by the way, it's all Ponzi nomics anyway. So okay, it's all no, greater I'm, full theory I'm, I'm anyway. So is that what you're them. offering it's, is like a bunch of- projects that have launched from a 10X and they're actually going further to go to 100X. Where, for example, there's Victoria VR, there was Wilder World. There's been countless projects this year that have done exactly what we said. If you look at Get Kicks, they got a 62x just last month on a larger launch pad. The same launch pad that we launched on. There are countless Victoria, projects you know, speak, Speaking of Victoria BR, Victoria BR is a company, I don't know if you can pull it up, right? That ended up doing, I think it's about uh, 150x. Yeah. But we had a conversation with them last week and we tweeted this. Rather than buying the dip, we are going to acquire. <sighs> companies that are breaking down within the dip. We had a conversation, I'm not gonna say who with, Victoria VR, and we potentially was going to acquire them until we realized they're not right for us. So this is what I'm trying to say, just cause you, and you know what, we've got the evidence right here. So you want evidence, we're gonna give you evidence cause we're not bullshit guys. Just in your eyes, we are bullshitters because your whole channel is let's find the scammer. Let's put them under pressure and hopefully they'll fold. But we're coming back with the answers, with evidence, mm -hmm. and now you can't take it. So just bear with us while we get yeah, I can't take it. Why do you keep like answering yourself like, you can't take it? I, what are you talking about? 
just it's because you keep not acknowledging our response and the fact that we want to produce evidence. You would know, have this conversation y'all are like gish galloping to have, all these. You wouldn't have this conversation with Dodge. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. You're gish galloping to all these different topics. Okay. So what I said is you shouldn't be advertising a 10x to 100x ever. That's super okay. irresponsible. You, look, That's I'm the definition of a get rich quick scheme, right? No, That's what I no, talked to you guys no. about. I'm gonna tell oh, you I can dump money into something, get a hundred X. How's that not a get rich quick scheme? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. answer this question. Okay. Okay. Is saying you can 10 X to a hundred X. Is that, is that advertising a get rich quick scheme? Okay. Let me explain something to you. Dave. No, no, no. Answer the question. Instead of, instead of jumping to different topics, y'all said y'all can come no, with you, the answers, you, you, right? You read a so is, is that a get rich quick scheme? To it. So is I'm it a get rich quick scheme? Yes or no? Is it a get rich quick scheme? Yes or no? No, no, no. Answer the question I'm asking right now. Is it a get rich quick scheme? Yes or no? No, of course it's not. How can you turn around and say it's a get rich quick scheme when we're looking to acquire? This is a conversation. A conversation. Not that. 10x to 100x. November Stop the getting off topic. You Stop. To hey, you know I got you. Off. Hey, bro, you know I got you. You're running around yes, because how? you how know you I got off? you. Okay, 10x no, to 100x no, 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 is it a get rich quick scheme. You know no, it is. Let me, let me explain something that you don't realize. Y'all are like, when you try to deflect. On centralized exchanges, what you don't realize is they have to launch and keep the coin above a certain price. Okay. Yes, yes. A longer period of or time. no. On a low market cap coin, it's easy to do when you use a reputable market maker and they put in enough liquidity. We will only be listing similar coins to this to ensure we get a higher return for our investors. We also have a refund policy in place where if it doesn't meet up to the standards we the want- The answer is it's a scam. Oh, yeah, it's going to okay, come okay, back and bite you. No, 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 no. He used to ask clever you're questions. Yeah. This guy's not professional. Look, he's doing labs and he's fucking around. No, no, he's a Okay, can you just- No, no, no. Do you want to move away It's hard for me to be quote, quote, professional when y'all are dodging my questions. If y'all want to answer that question, dodged a single que ask us the question. Yeah. Great. Advertising 10x to 100x, is that a get rich quick scheme? Yes or no? No. no. Why? Because it, <laughs> is, because it can happen. Okay. It happens okay. every single day of the week in the crypto space. Please get knowledgeable about what happens in the crypto space. This so much of the crypto, crypto space is a scam. Oh, oh now crypto oh, scam. You can oh. Yeah. We got ya, got ya, we got you, buddy. That's You're a Bitcoin hater. You hate crypto. That's why you don't like us. That's why you call us a scam because you hate us crypto guys. Repeat what back what I said. Repeat back what I said word for word. I gotcha. said. That's no, going on Twitter. No, no, no. no. You, 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 look, That's you, going on Twitter. You're probably pro. -golden. I said <laughs> so much of what happens in the crypto space is a scam. Is that true or false? Oh, so but 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 ten years ago, everybody said crypto was a uh, Bitcoin was a scam, right? That's Listen what they said. Listen to my words. You have a That's problem listening. You have what a problem happened? listening. The best investment. So anybody much could ever make of the crypto world. space is a scam. You do oh, not listen. This is oh, your okay. problem. You do not listen to me. So much. Of the crypto okay. space is a scam, is what I just said. Okay. And then you guys you jumped up and you go, ah, look, he's a scam. Oh, we got you. Yes, really, 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 what are y'all talking about? Once again, no, one second, one second. The conversation got heated because you're against cryptocurrencies. You no, I'm not. We're taking the okay, okay. My okay in your eyes, in your eyes, is crypto a scam? No, not all crypto. Of course not. Because you don't not listen to me. So that's like shocking to you. Understand. It's just like, listen, so it, when Gary V it, says 98% of NFTs now. will go to zero, is he against NFTs? Cryptocurrency is, is just a technology. As as you, okay, we've answered your question. Let's ask you a question. As far no, as you I, are I, No, you came on this show because I said, hey, I think you're a scam. You said, we won't dodge a single question. And then this has just gotten embarrassing. It's gotten embarrassing. You're sitting here with crypto founders talking about where scammers and you're sitting there dabbing. We but have we, had our business tarnished. And you guys are sitting here, oh, we got year, you. A whole year working endless nights, developing a triple A game in the crypto space. And you're sitting there dabbing. We've had our business called a scam because of a 12 year old kid that is botting the word scam in all the chats. And you're sitting there laughing. Yeah. You, you have no true? evidence it was botted. That's just speed. Kids. That's we've just got, speed got chat. Into our pre -sale. Let me give you an example about what happens when people like you come on these streams. Okay. Right? This is what happens, right? Okay. You sit there, 
You're making little hit pieces. You call <laughs> pieces. You call people scams, but then you don't realize what happened. For views or for wait, 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 wait! You I, said at the beginning of this. At the beginning of the show, you said I've looked up your work, and you're a man of integrity and honesty. Wait, where did yeah, you not look up my work? This is not the side I'm seeing. This is not the side. We thought this was gonna be exactly quote unquote. No, no you thought you were gonna get some softballs. You thought you were gonna no, get called out. Said, then you got called out, and then hard listen. Hard hey, the I've heard it before. I used to like Coffeezilla, but then I found out the truth because he wasn't nice to me i'm sorry i can't it, okay, it is look, what look, it is let's do this let's start from the top of the white paper and take it step by step should we start with paradox events and our vision and what we plan to do for it and move on from there because i'm not doing, doing a commercial for you guys i am telling you what i find sketchy no no no, no. he has flaws with paradox events i want to hear him if he doesn't we'll move on to the next one but take it step by step what's the next one done. paradox events what is it what is it that you don't like about paradox events that we are a scam and then we can move to the next one I, I don't really care. I don't really care about Paradox Events. I thought the uh, okay. Jake Paul so, thing okay. was pretty we have a... Paradox Events is not a scam. Okay, that's It's fine. just an event Ooh. company. I mean, it could be a fail. I think it's probably okay, going to be okay. a fail, but that's it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, but that's, that's the thing. It? You're just throwing dirt on our name for free. Oh, it could be a fail. How do you know it's going to be a fail? It could be success. But this is this is what people like you do. You just chuck dirt on people's companies. No, I can, no, I can explain. Let me explain to you why I think it's going to be a fail. I think okay, it's going to be a fail because you're trying to launch seven different products at the exact same time. That's why I think no, it's going to fail. Exact fail. same time. Okay, look, let me explain something to you now. The Paradox events, we're hosting a football match, uh, a boxing match in February. Now, the way this works is our ecosystem requires daily users. This is an entertainment event. We can spend $5 million, $2 million, a $1 million on this as a marketing event to market Paradox events. We will have no outside sponsors. It will be hosted in a large arena, for example, the equivalent of being the O2 Arena. KSI's last fight at the O2 Arena had 20,000 seats sold and over 100,000 pay-per-views. Now, that was because people wanted to watch their favorite influencers and be entertained. If you were to host a similar event with a large amount of YouTubers that we already signed up, we'd be expecting to say, let's say, get 10,000 pay-per-views. That would be 10,000 more cryptocurrency holders of the Paradox token. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I don't think you're getting no, 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 no. I, I don't think you're getting anywhere with this. This like this no, is no, the no, problem. You, that's no, no, what no. your opinion this is. This is what our vision is for this, and this is what we're going to do. If it gets 5,000 holders at the moment, no, uh, all, all of this okay. all okay. of this requires the Paracoin to work. That's the whole let problem. Let me explain one thing. Okay, let me explain okay. No, let me explain no, 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 let me explain one thing. That's your opinion that it's not going to work. Yeah. However, let me give you an example. You have got diehard fans. We can see it on your chats. They will say whatever you say is right. And you can it. turn around and say, no, they the won't. Spice pink, and they will believe you. No. Because they will diehard no, fans. I, no, the same I, Speed, way, the speed same showed way, you that that's not true. Because way, Speed went on and he promoted you guys and then he, he the got right put L scam. That was voted. Anyone with the right yeah, mind. Okay, you, you know what? That. You know what? Let's, you said it's not boys. We're okay. going to show you the evidence right now. Okay. Let's pull up. Let's pull up. <laughs> I show speeds. I show speeds YouTube channel. Uh -huh. let's, let, you said it's not boys. Okay. Uh -huh. I show speed. Right. Let's let's pull this up. I show speed. Lives. One point seven million views. Let's put a pause on this. Let's look at all the comments. How do we look at the comments? Okay. Let's look at the camera. Let's. You ready? This is not this is not bought it. Every single message is the same. Three thousand seven hundred messages. They're all the same. Oh, magic! It's magic. Every single message mm -hmm. is exactly the same. How yep. can you? I don't even know what I'm looking at. Yeah, I can tell you, it's all the same. Every single message is exactly the same. Every single message is bought it. No, forget. But then else. you can turn around no, and no, say, no. "Oh yeah." No, forget that. You're saying that Paradox events has nothing to do with the cryptocurrency and it won't work. The way our vision is for this event, and if it's a success, so, amazing. It isn't, and he says a failure. It isn't. But that's what we had. Wait, 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 wait. You, you just said that was a, that was bought it because all of them sounded the same, right? Every single message well, was like exactly right, 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 right. So here's the uh, here's a video that's not you guys, and they have the same copy pasta in that thing. I show I Ohio. This stream changed my life, my entire view of everything that exists in this world. In fact, even in the entire universe. Is it's it all over this? That the same person that it's watches all, No, these, these are kids. These are kids. They're just oh, copy and paste of the exactly. same thing. The, these that, are that bots. Is bots. That's bots. That's what you call bots. That's what you call Look, bots. A human can bot. A computer can bot. A bot can bot. bot. Wait, wait, wait. So y'all are saying humans can bot now? It's you can easy. go onto a website. Okay, do you know what? No, no, are, you, the, are the bots human, human or y'all saying there are humans that are buying bots? 
Oh, you're just trying to be. Clear. I'm just trying to be funny now. Okay, can you oh. just for the for the sake no, of this? No, I, I honestly was confused. Point, but but you guys understand that I just brought up a clip that wasn't y'all's video, so y'all said our video was like botted, and they said L scam, whatever. But then I just showed you a video that was quote botted in your mind that wasn't that video. So you're just saying all of Speed's videos are botted. All of Speed's videos are getting botted. How can you not see this? No, 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 the live, the live chat, the the bot. Why would the why would the bot say L scam though? Explain that to me. Because that is the topic of what he wanted to say for this video. He was trying to say L scam about donkeys. Like, what the heck is going on? Look, no, no. He was. Why would why would he try to say L scam? Explain that to me. Can I can I ask your viewers a question? An honest question. I just want to have an okay. honest question. You honest don't like question me, from the I, viewers. I think I still think you're amazing, but I want to ask your your viewers. I right didn't now, say I don't like you. Question. I invited you on the show. I think that's honest pretty nice question. of me. Don't you think it's pretty nice that I invited you on the show? I, I think it's amazing that you hate Bitcoinists. I'm just saying. I I want to ask your viewers. That, one simple okay. question, right? One simple question. And okay. I, I look, whether you like me, whether you don't like me, it's fine. But look, I just want a simple question answered by your viewers. All right, right? viewers. You lie, if you don't want to lie, it's a do test. You, do you think on the video that is on Aisha Speed's live today, was his comments botted? Just that's all I want to see in your The chat. part about just L scam, like, right? The part about L scam. Yeah. Okay. Which, Guys, this, this is the, some, make up some your of, mind. Of, Make up your mind. Just an honest man. Uh-oh. There seem to be some bots in our chat here. Okay. I'll scam chain. No, uh -oh. no, no. Because they're different. You see, they all spelled differently. See oh, the difference? Okay. You see the difference? And you proved it. Every single message is coming. How did I now, prove it? Now if you brought it up, it probably will eventually get like that. Uh, did, you, did you not see what we just done there? We just proved to you that the chat was bought. Like Every it's single message is different. They all disagree okay. with you. You understand that, right? Every single message is completely different to the other. Yeah. Whereas when you look at Speed's chat, every single message was exactly the same. Now, you but, just proved yeah. completely to us that that whole, your oh, argument is, is, is just it's, it's Yeah, but now that we even mentioned it, they're going to eventually start copying pasting each other's messages and do that. But no, it's cool. No, 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 no cool. forget that. Long story short, I don't want to talk about that Speed issue because that all was right. one. Let's talk about now, how we are scammers. Now, I'm going to go, go from Paradox Events. You're saying the cryptocurrency doesn't work with it. Now, the way we envision it works and the way we expect it to work is our cryptocurrency will be used to buy NFTs that can only be used to buy the power of cryptocurrency. Yeah? Power buys the NFTs. That's the ticket for users to be watching on pay-per-view and go to the, watch the event. It will reduce the amount of forgeries when it comes to tickets on uh, live events in person. That is our vision for our event, Paradox Events. You're not part of the company, so you don't really have an opinion on it where you can tell us what to change. So there's that. This now, is the one-sided chat, by the way, guys. I know. I, no matter anyone with the mind that knows and understands crypto will turn around and say, you know what, these guys know that what they're doing. They're making sense. Yeah. Would but they say that reason, though? Your viewers will listen to you blindly, and because you call us scammers, <laughs> the whole chat's turned around now saying you're scammers. What are you doing? <laughs> this is crazy. crazy. Oh Bro, let, my gosh. So, can I, can I ask you guys a quick question? Yeah. You guys are valuing yourself at $30 million when you launch? Yeah. What, what, what is that based on? Based on the rounds of raise. It says right there. You look at tokenomics. Look at mm -hmm. the price of it. If someone's willing to pay you, that's how much you're worth. If someone's willing to pay a dollar for a Coca-Cola, it's worth a dollar. If someone next week puts it out for $2, or for example, with Prime. Right, right. what if Coca-Cola offered well, 10 to 100x? Would that now be a get-rich-quick scheme? Uh, they offer cocaine, and then it clearly works. So let's see what happens. Okay, but they can't do that anymore, right? Because that's illegal, right? Till someone tells them they can't. Okay. So y'all are just going to do offer these crazy things until someone tells you you can't, right? But what are you talking about? Offer these crazy, crazy things. Now? Every single day of the week in a crypto co project, this stuff is happening. Only reason we're speaking to you is because someone bought our chat with Aisha Speed and said we're scammers. All right. So by, by, by the way, you say like every, every like you you have this like normalization of oh crypto crypto is like this like really clean space. What have you got against you crypto? Understand. I, just know, I just want to know what you got against crypto because you seem to have it straight up. And you and your viewers seem to hate crypto, and it's cool you you don't understand crypto. But at least oh, I don't I don't understand crypto. Yeah, that's that's gonna work for you. You clearly don't. Yeah, clearly. Okay. Uh, I have nothing against crypto. I have a, a a problem with all the scams and grifters and con men that come in this space wanting to uh, promise people a dream, a dream that they can get <laughs> rich quick. Okay. Yep. And that they're going to be, they're going to uh, all of a sudden be rich the next year or the year after that. When we all know that these super high APYs come with 
gigantic we do not risk. not just offer APYs. We do not just offer mm. APYs. By the way, I don't even under, uh, 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 um, Emilio, I don't even under, or, uh, wait, how do I say Amio. your name? Amio? Oh, Amio. I apologize. I apologize it's about that. Um, so one, one thing that I just wanted to ask real quick, uh, and here, let me, let me just pull this up real quick. So I saw you on money kicks. I was researching you and I saw you on money kicks, recent, uh, video, right? So he's this like, with Logan Paul or... sorry, the podcast with Logan Paul or did he just what delete he... the video? Who? Oh, I think he just deleted the. Did he literally just delete this video? Are you kidding? Which video are you talking about? The one on Money Kicks, the one literally advertising this whole thing where you... Are you guys kidding? Did y'all just delete that? Or did he just delete that? His video with you. Why'd he yeah, take that down? We're getting bought, we're getting bought by your followers. Bought by your followers, calling us scammers. Yeah, Everyone's it getting... Sucks. Every, it no, no, no. sucks. I'll be honest with you. It does Any, suck. Look, anyone with an influence... Wait, wait, wait. wait. Did, did he actually delete the video though with you? That's crazy. Yeah, he, Every, he archived it. Everyone, everyone is messaging Oh, so he did delete that. the video. Sorry. Yeah. I'll, tell the, I'll tell the viewers, in the video, you have an ad where... And it's, I guess it's just... I hope you don't lie and say you didn't say this because you did. But uh, in the video, you say, I've got... I found the only way to get rich in 2022. And it's so easy, guys. You need zero knowledge. You don't need anything. And you say, you just got to go be an affiliate for my course. A million, uh, um, um, I'm your Italia University. There you go. You're advertising sort of like the Tate, the Andrew Tate like model of you just have to go sell my course. So if you sell my course, you're going to get okay. rich. That's the only oh, way you're going to get rich in 2022, oh, according to you. Now. Oh, that's oh. what it is. Okay, oh. let me explain this to you. That's what it is. Now, is an what, affiliate what's program What's what it is? Okay. Is an affiliate program wrong? Where a person has commission for sales. No, I think saying that this is the only way you're going to get rich is wrong. People don't get rich on affiliate programs? No, People don't not, make a living with It's not the only... Like, you say, I living. found the only way to get rich. No knowledge. The only way that works... Yes. As far as we I are concerned, found reason, I, I, I found, found a way. Wait, wait so wait, 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 but I that's the thing, because you're selling your crypto bank. now. So you're buying your crypto isn't a way to get rich? No, our affiliate marketing <laughs> program is, a is a designed, is a simple product designed to give our followers, our fans, people that believe in me, because I have a Amir Tali University where I teach people about blockchain technology, oh my gosh. a way for them to monetize their time whilst learning from me. And all they got to do is carp short clips, Put it out on TikToks, get everyone else to come into our channels and learn from us. We're paying people to learn. Now, from us. how what well do you offer? Learn, learn to earn. What learn learn to earn, huh? Okay. Yeah, how I mean, did you guys get rich? Successful. That's what I want to know. Tell me a bit, uh, bit about that. I run a very successful car rental business and I run a property development business. We right below this floor right now. You're looking at. I have eight supercars that I've owned for over six years. I'm not being here for a week. I don't own. I don't care about the supercars. I just wanted yeah, to no, know no, how you no, guys no, get no, rich. No, 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 just get no, no, rich. Sorry to interrupt you. No, no, sorry to interrupt you. You want the backstory on me and how history and my brother. Sure. So we were given it. So if you're saying after asking the question, you don't care about the answer, then that's no, 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 no. You just start mentioning supercars. I don't care about the supercars unless no, no, but you're trying to make out. You're trying to insist that we're just guys that have come out of nowhere. Making a lot of money yeah. now. No, no, no. I, I literally just said we own a car leasing business that has supercars, and we have a large collection of supercars downstairs. And you said you don't care about one of the businesses. That no, you I didn't. I just meant the supercars in the context of your personal like collection. I don't care about your personal collection of supercars. No, it has to do with your bi business. That's fine. Here's my question: Why? Why y'all move from from that business to uh, Paradox Coin? Or this so apparently when you're a, a business comes profitable, you stop running it. You manage it and you continue running it. It's been running for no, I'm not saying that. I'm just I'm just asking what's going on here. I mean, why one more than one business? I mean that do you run more than one YouTube account? This this was no, I'm so just I'm just wondering. Is, no, everyone knows you have you, what so so your argument is why do you have many businesses that make you money? No, I'm saying you guys appear to have come out of nowhere. I know you guys are saying, like, oh, we've been around forever. We we came from humble beginnings. Okay, that's fine. Nobody else knows who you are. There's a lot of people exactly. who don't know no, who no, you no. are. We're, no, no. To, we're I, I, new you. to iShow Speed's channel. Yeah. However, in the UK, a lot of people know who we are. Okay. A lot of people. Oh, you know what? That's funny, actually. That's what the, reason, the reason you think this is because you're probably looking at my Instagram account, which is my new one that was oh, created yeah. not long ago. Okay. The reason That's for not that why. Is, that, the reason for that is, but my- That's, my that's not why, because you guys are doing every hallmark of a scammer, and then you goes, you go, why is everyone thinking we're scammers? 
We're just oh saying this oh, is the only way to get rich quick, and we're only saying that it's 10x to 100x. Well, what you're I mean, is we're yeah. using amazing sales tactics to get returns. And oh, how are those sales insane. tactics working for you so far? How'd they work for you on oh, really? iShow Speed's channel? Oh well, my God! I mean, um, we're the most talking. trending. We're the most trending and was talking crypto about. project right now. We've you think for a good reason? How huh? you think that's going to work for you? No, no. But the thing is, we're giving you now the chance. That let me give you an example. The people in this chat are going to turn around and listen to you blindly. Anyone with half a brain will look at this chat and think, you know what? These guys actually know what they're talking about. They're actually doing what they're saying they're going to do, and they've got a good business plan. Everyone can see that you don't like Bitcoin and crypto. The people that watch I, this, I disagree with this. You wait, are giving wait, wait. us free marketing. Okay. Think about this. You're talking to us. A million people are going to see this video and they're going to talk about it. But this. you guys look you dumb understand. in this video. Well, in Go my ahead. opinion. What your opinion? Everyone's going to see that opinion of yours. Have you seen that Pierce Morgan and Andrew Tate? Andrew Tate. Uh, you, why podcast? do you love you, Andrew Tate you so much? You... Wait, wait, do you, I, I feel like you guys are like trying to be the next end, like the Tate brothers. You, no, no, no. Sorry, 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 sorry. So you got- Because y'all have, have the whole brother You've thing going on. With a very successful man that's come from very humble beginnings, uh -huh. living his life the way he likes to be, mm -hmm. and is trying to encourage young men to be independent, successful, and learn how to make money online. And that's an issue because we're taking a leaf from his book. Oh, so that's the issue. Oh, and the fact that we was brought up in Luton, is that another issue? Or maybe the fact that Andrew Tate grew up four doors away from us. Is that another issue? This is what I'm trying to say. Everything you're trying to bring out is not an issue in our eyes. We have a large following. We have a lot of young men in that have come from nothing, right? That are still in poverty. We're trying to find a way for guys do you in, think, these do you think circumstances, has... in these circumstances mm -hmm. to make a better living for us. We have come from nothing. We've worked our, our whole life, worked our asses off to be mm -hmm. in this position where mm -hmm. we can enjoy life, where we have got millions of dollars worth of cars, where we have got millions of dollars worth of watches. And now you've got guys like you that turn around and say, you know what, you guys are scammers. Why? Because you don't like our marketing tactics? That's your problem, not our problem. At the end of the day, no, I think it's your customer's problem. problem. It's not our customer's problem. Our customers make good returns because let me tell you one thing. I, can I don't almost think they do. I'll make this deal with you right here, right now. I'll make this deal with you right here, right now. Okay. <laughs> if our coin launches and it doesn't if do it a launches. minimum 20 to 30 or... I will change my name to Coffee... Fucking, I don't even know what your channel's called. What's the channel called? I don't know. Dip? I don't know. Coffeezilla, Coffeezilla. 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 I will change my name to Coffeezilla. I don't want you to change your name to Coffee Zilla, though. I'm to say. That, that's I a know, terrible no, deal for no, me. No, 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 look, 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 what I'm trying to say, well, the long story Why are you, why are you promising a 20 to 30x? It's going to go like this. This is how your coin's okay, going to go. Long story short, you're saying the main topic Unfortunately. Of, no, 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 look, forget everything else. That's, that's how all these play to earn games go. The main issue you have about is that we have a 300% inflation rate in the first year. But you didn't mention that the year after is only 100%, and after that, it peters out to be a lot, very low number. If you look at other cryptocurrencies, they have a lot, much aggressive inflation rate than ours. We managed to get it down to 30% in the first three months. We managed to get it down to below 300% and carry a market cap of 380. How will it do that when all the tokens are vested? Sorry, we're seeing your live stream a bit late. So we're seeing you do that stuff a bit later. Wait, right? you should be able to just Space see me. One. I'm showing my camera on Zoom. Just look on, just look on Zoom. Uh, it's got a little it's, OBS. It's got an OBS thing. It just comes up with a no thing. Sorry. So we have to be watching on YouTube. Um, what? All our tokens are vested. Okay. So the only people that can dump are the people that don't believe in the project because we... you are spending fake news. That's what that's what's gonna happen. All of our tokens are locked for a year. Yeah, we, we have no interest. You you looked at our token moments, but you didn't see that our tokens are locked. Are so your tokens locked? Say, Is everybody who got in the pre sale locked? Founders are 12 to 12. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Is everybody is everybody in the pre-sale locked? Who's locked? Ev everybody that has bought a pre-sale from a launch pad, the biggest launch pad okay. in the world, sure. engine stop. Sure. The biggest launch pad in the world, pools. Sure. The biggest launch pad in sure. the world, block tab. Yeah. Right? Every single person, their cryptocurrency mm -hmm. is locked. They mm -hmm. have a small percentage that gets unlocked on TGE. 20%, which is average. Our market cap on TGE is $380,000, which is hey, considered a What's the small percent that gets unlocked? 
Uh, okay, so on average, launch pad rounds get released around 20%. So we want to keep with the common. The reason for that is we launched our same one of our products. So you're releasing 20% of your tokens when? No, 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 no. no, no. Okay, the... look, look. I'm going to explain this to you. So each round has a specific amount unlocked for whatever they own of the percentage of supply. Look at this. Um, for example, the private pre sale round, they're having a 10% unlock of their tokens. And then the next round, when? the launch pad round. When? On TG, to uh, on launch day. On launch day. So the day the exchange launch, the user will have 10% of their uh, tokens unlocked and they get a lower price, which means they have a larger supply of tokens. The next round, which is the public launch pad round, on average, they have 20% of their token supply, mm -hmm. their token supply, not the total, being unlocked. We want to keep the same number of them because it made sense to keep it the same as what they are used to. And we were going to go heavily on marketing. So we launched our own product at the same time. Paradox Launchpad, so we actually kept our promises by launching the Powerpad at the same time and marketing our cryptocurrency as the first project it launched and sold out. So we are still sticking to what we are doing and we're rolling them out as they come along. Um, our founders have got a vesting period of 12 months, so we have no interest in after that. And I think it's quarterly as well. I'm looking over here, it's 8% quarterly linear. And to be honest, we're more you have a vesting period of 12 months? 12 months. Yeah. We have so no in 12 months, you get unlocked. In 12 months, we get unlocked. A tiny amount. Well, no, no, no. 12 months and then a quarter after that, yeah. it's 8% unlock. Of we're not here unlock. for the short term. And this is uh -huh. one thing we need to explain to you. You can see the way we're rolling out all of our products. Mm -hmm. It's getting rolled out over a year's period. On the 20th, we are flying Aisha Speed out to Dubai, where we're going to do a tour with him in Dubai. Mm -hmm. Then we have uh, DJ Khaled coming over to uh, Saudi Arabia for his uh, Middle Beast. And then we're going to bring him over to Dubai to do a tour of Dubai. This is what I'm trying to say. This is what I'm trying to explain to you. Our product unlock is every single month to a point where the price is stabilized. It's called price, price un this unlock. Is sort of, okay, guys, 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 guys. This, this is sort of like where I have a problem, right? Because- it's be You know what the problem is? I, I, and and, and look, we're gonna, let's, go on, let's go on common grounds. To you, it sounds too good to be true. Because there are some flaws apparently. Because, because no, no, what's up, what's up? Let, let's, let's have common ground. Let's start this off fresh. To you, it sounds too good to be true because the stuff we're talking about is huge. To wrong. us, it's not. We're talking about big names, I show but speed. Wrong, but wrong. I, that's, not why, that's not why I think it's too good to be true. I think it's too good to be true because blockchain, like these blockchain play-to-earn games are fundally, fundamentally built on Ponzi-nomics. Okay. But okay. that's because they have no other products and they solely rely on the play and earn game. Which we works. don't. Our whole thing with the metaverse, this is the thing, right? When we introduced Paradox Metaverse, it was last year, before Facebook mentioned their name changed to Meta. Do you so know how many people do you know how many people have said our play to earn or our do to earn is different? We're ecosystem. We're completely different. Yeah, we look, have look, many look. products under okay. one yeah, look, point. The way we do it is the way we're seeing our vision of our ecosystem, which we're going to slowly brand towards ecosystem because thanks to Facebook, they ruined the name Metaverse now and every other crypto concept that follow them. So we're slowly transitioning to ecosystem, which is what it is. We have two entertainment products for our ecosystem. Paradox Metaverse is a free-to-play game which users can play for free. And if they want to earn, they can have one of our NFTs to have permission to earn the reward in cryptocurrency. This reduces the amount of people earning in cryptocurrency. So there's a short amount. Not everyone's earning for free. And anyone, including the free users, can buy and do microtransactions in-game that will fill up the staking pool and the reward pool. But again, we have, we have another event. problem. Your game doesn't look good. Okay, oh that's it. No, no, forget, forget. That's no, no, your opinion. No, no, we're not gonna no, 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 but like, but no, it is, it is a real problem. And it's not just opinion. Yeah, I mean, there are some game. things like aesthetics that are yeah. objective. The problem with a lot of these games is that Ultimately, and I'm just trying to, I'm trying to like reset and be as real as possible we're, with you guys. We are getting to common ground now. Yeah, I think, so now well, I think I'm just getting tired. So I'm just losing yeah, my, uh, my kind we're wearing, of. We're wearing you out. We like that. Well, it's 2, 2 a.m. over here. So fair enough. And well, it's 8 a.m. in the morning and uh, we had no sleep. So I think the thing about it is, is that ultimately all these like blockchain type games, right? Where they're like saying, hey, come, come join, whatever. The reason most people actually go play is to earn money instead of actually play the game. If you actually want to get real users into playing your game, you have to compete with real AAA games. And I'm sorry to say, having seen your game, I can't speak about whether it competes with blockchain games because I don't play blockchain games. But I don't think it can compete with actual games. The only way this kind of like 
Yeah. Theorized, <laughs> hey, we're just going to have a microtransaction system, which is going to pl pay the player, but also pay us. But also, we're going to have this, like, boxing That's thing. Cool. We're also going to have a para swap, which gives you 20%. We're also going to have para venture that gives you 10 to 100x. I mean, in a way, I, like, I understand how, where you guys are, I understand where you guys are thinking about this, but I think you're fundamentally flawed in the sustainability okay. of your own yeah. coin. Now, I do see your point of view because a lot of people do see that when they don't delve deep into this. Now, what a lot of people don't realize I is delve pretty deep. A, a thousand games out there that have micro communities. They have users of twenty to thirty thousand community members. For example, like mobile games, you see that they're playing virtual currency, turn-based games, and they keep every week they buy ten pound worth of a certain gem to unlock on mining or stuff like that, grinding games and stuff like that. Now, every single game out here has a mini community of ten thousand, twenty thousand users. A lot of people really don't realize is you don't need a million people playing your game. You have a million people playing your game, congratulations, you're Fortnite, you're making $10 billion a year. But you can have a normal game with a strong community that you keep rewarding. You hold expos, you reward them with NFTs, you reward them with um, products and everything else that they want to be part of an ecosystem. A lot of people don't, uh, no, a lot of people don't realize this. Can, can you type in our competitors, uh, Sandbox? No, no, look. Uh, Axie, uh, type in Axie Infinity, one of the biggest player known games. Just type in Axie Infinity, please. Okay, let's play our trailer. Oh, let's play. Let's let's make it fair. Let's make it fair. Right, play our trailer. Okay. And let's have a look. Okay. Let's take a look at Axie Infinity. Yeah. Uh, Just play our whole trailer and then let's look at Axie Infinity, please. Okay, this is Axie Infinity's trailer. Um, or did you want to see like the game itself? We want to uh, see the actual game. Gameplay. Game. This is a gameplay. Trailer. This is gameplay. In game footage, we do have a cinematic trailer, but this is a gameplay trailer. Where's their so actual, actual game? Game. Not gonna lie, it's good. Oh, returning some of your viewers, returning some of your viewers. We tried a lot, we tried hard to make it look good. Here you go. Here's the actual, here's Axie Infinity the game. It's like a mobile uh, that's, that's cinematic. cinematics. Uh, put in gameplay, please. No, 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 game... you guys aren't, you guys aren't seeing it. I'm showing the actual game. Oh, okay, you guys are just delayed. Um, this is what the actual game looks like. Mm. Do you know what happened to Axie Infinity? That's not actual gameplay. No, uh, I don't think it so. is. It is. You're not no, saying. No, that's cinematics. No, okay. Oh, oh no, now, no, no, now we're seeing it. All right, I so know. we've got about 15 second oh, delay awesome. on your screen. Sorry, so please bear with. So, oh, wow. if we want to look at the chart of Axie Infinity, in the best case, in my opinion, what this was is what the you point guys, from start to this finish? This is what you guys look like. Can, if you was to buy the coin from pre sell up until the Do highest you, point, how much percent was it? I'm I'm sorry. What are you saying? For Axie say, Infinity? For Axie Infinity, from the pre-sell, from the the lowest point, from the beginning, all the way to its peak, how much X was it? Oh, I'm sure tons. Uh, I, I think it's roughly about a thousand X or something Do like that. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Real quick. Do you think that Ponzi schemes that make a lot of money are justifiable or not scams? No, no, no. no. This what is not a Ponzi no, no, no. scheme. What you're seeing... Why they fell off is Wait. because they had no other product. Yeah, because when, when, look, a lot of people are attracted by the earning mechanism. No, 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 no. Axie yeah. Infinity was trying to go into all sorts of ecosystem stuff. I remember hearing a whole talk about it. You yeah, guys no, no, are... No, no. You guys, wait, 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 wait. You guys are fundamentally saying that your uh, that Axie Infinity is somehow justifiable. What they did to the people in the Philippines is disgusting. They got all these people to invest tons of money to supposedly make a living wage there until, and these people literally went in debt trying to get the Axie, you know, all the stuff in their game. And eventually they ended up broke because Axie Infinity inevitably fell off, right? There's there's a lot of reasons for that. There's yeah. a lot of people not playing. There's yeah. the crypto market and there's also the hack. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, is that do you think that if you no. didn't have your, your I'm going to say it, Ponzi-nomics in your game, of making money, play to earn, make money, make... Do you think people would play your game when they could be playing a bunch of other games? Yes or no? Okay, look, one thing you have to understand is it's small games like ours, they're community-based. Yes or no, please. 2,000 users, they have 20,000 users, and okay. they're played. Now, if our game is the best of the player and games to enjoy and play for the people that you mentioned where who actually want to go and grind and earn a cryptocurrency reward for playing, if we can be one of the top three, the best ones as a newcomer amazing now what a lot of people don't realize is just bring this here but yeah. what i just well, told you is the most popular play to earn game was itself a ponzi scheme people it was got hurt 
it was your innovative. eyes it was, it was one of the first crypto games went actually, down when everything i mean everything went down we're talking the stock markets we're talking the price of uh, house everything went no down. ultimately oh. as as the game develops right and people get more and more advanced you have to spend increasing amounts to make a living wage this is what was happening at first when nobody has a bunch of like nobody spent a ton of money on their like little axie battlers well, yeah, it's fine, and you're making tons of money because the supply hasn't inflated that much. And there's all this excitement, and there's all this thought about, like, everyone's getting in. The hype train is building. This is how all Ponzi schemes work. But eventually, to sustain an increasing, growing user base, they cannot sustain everybody, right? So slowly, they have to lower the rewards. The price gets diluted. There's more and more selling pressure, and they go down because that's what a Ponzi scheme is. You bring more investors in to try to pay out the old investors. It has to increasingly bring investors oh in God. to pay so, out the so old investors. Tesla the Ponzi. Tesla the Ponzi. Tesla if the Tesla Ponzi. stops selling cars today, they won't have money for the cars that they need to repair next year because they're the only You know what? You know oh, what? Oh my God. Elon Musk. I'll tell you what, Elon, Elon Musk is a Ponzi. So you're not saying we're scammers, you're saying the anyone whole that the whole the, the power uh, sorry sorry you're not saying we're scammers you're saying everyone in play and earn no games i'm saying your game sucks and if people don't actually play it when you're they're not making money you're in trouble look if look, you have a business this. and there's no other person to uh you know buy your product then obviously the pro I, you know in cryptocurrencies right you said not all cryptocurrencies are scams okay can you tell us which cryptocurrency you think is not a scam can you just answer this? We've answered all your questions. Outside the legend. Other than, right, Bitcoin, which cryptocurrency is not a scam? Uh, I think ETH is pretty good. I mean, I'll say what I think. Uh, I think there's aspects of cryptocurrency, which is admirable, which is decentralization, I think is a good is thing. Ethereum, I, wait, wait, hold, is hold Ethereum on. a Ponzi scheme? No, no. I mean, can, can, can you... Someone else, if there's no one at the end of it. You kind of asked me a question. I was trying to answer it respectfully, but you kind of had the answer. In your logic, Ethereum is a scam. It's a Ponzi scheme because at the end of the day, if there's no one at the end of it to buy it, then the price goes down because it's only as good as the next buyer, right? So then that should surely be a Ponzi scheme, no? No, because the primary reason that you... What differentiates a Ponzi scheme and something with actual actual utility but when the primary it. listen to what i am saying before you speak the primary reason you get into something or you use something is not in of itself to make money the reason ethereum is not a ponzi scheme is because actual utility is being built on top of it there's reason to have ethereum beyond just ethereum value going up what i'm saying is these blockchain games which are not competitive in the game market you yourself admit that the problem is okay. they're only useful insofar as you are making money. The second you stop making money, you hang up your controller and you go to a game that's actually fun. That is so what I am trying scam, to tell you. Just playing and gaming is a scam. Okay, look, look, look. You have an opinion on playing and yeah, gaming. Yeah, I think play to earn gaming is mostly a scam. Yeah, I would say no, that. No, 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 no. You totally say that. have an understanding of playing and games because in the early stages, it was very new technology. Axie Infinity came out and the world was going to be amazing and it was sustainable because you can't have that as the only product. We're looking to launch other products, like we mentioned about Paradox Events, to bring more users to our platforms that can play the game for free, as well as uh, be part of the cryptocurrency reward system if they want. We have a limited supply. Not every single user of the game will be buying, playing to earn. Most will be playing to enjoy. You say it's a bad game, that's your opinion. I would personally say another game would be bad. It doesn't matter. My community enjoy it, and they love the rewards of the fact that we are working hard to make it better every day. But let's leave that at right. that. Uh, now, we do have other products as well, because as you mentioned, playing on games itself ain't sustainable. And we've always gone with that same model, because we do agree that playing on games on its own are not sustainable. That's why we are building an ecosystem where users can use the same cryptocurrency that not only rewards, but goes back into the ecosystem of the pool that rewards them for the game, for the launch pad, for the decks, and as well can be used as for the NFT. Someone goes, you showed us the script. Event. That's a WhatsApp message from our group. I don't want you guys thinking, but there's a so script. Let, uh, if your point you can, reading you a script point, confirmed yeah. guys <laughs> reading a script it's a whatsapp message yeah look if your point is playing to earn games in on itself ain't sustainable we all agree with you which is why we are basing around an ecosystem and that is one of the products look we can go back and forth all night yeah, right? opinions, i just I, I just kind of feel like look 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 ultimately look, you know who look. else had it you know who else had an ecosystem who terra luna that was their whole yeah, thing. When they understand. launched, they said, Terra hey, Luna. we're launching Terra with an Luna. ecosystem, guys. Wait, 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 wait. 
you in of itself, that is not a totally crazy idea that you could use. Well, I mean, I, I don't think like like when when Luna originally launched, they said, hey, we're going to have this ecosystem where you can buy real products and UST will have real value because you're actually going to use it one day. In reality, the reason people were buying is so number go up as long as your token is advertising itself as number go up instead of actual utility. That is the problem. And when I look at your white paper, take this as criticism. Look, if you just want to take this as criticism and look, I, I think you're a scam. You guys have a problem. You have a huge marketing problem. You went on speeds. He thought you were scam. Then you come to a guy who does. Who speed did not think of being oh, scam. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. His, cha his, cha his chat thought you were scam. His chat thought you were scam. I misspoke. You came on my show. Manager, I looked at your white paper and I thought you guys were a scam. So you guys have a problem. I'm trying to help you solve it. I'm saying, look, if you keep focusing on this, like, you're going to make this amount of money, you're going to make this amount of money, you're going to make this amount of money, you're building yourself as a Ponzi scheme, whether you realize it or not. If you instead focus on some kind of, I'm not saying, listen, I don't know what y'all's eventual plan or whatever it is, but if you actually want real utility, you need to advertise just the real utility. Because if you keep advertising, oh, you're going to make millions, you're going to make this, you're going to make that, you're going to make... A 10x, you're going to make 100x. You're going to get people who want the Ponzi scheme, and everyone's going to think you're a Ponzi scheme. So, Jim, Tom, someone got as a script because I had a piece okay. of paper. Look, it's blank. Look, look, we're getting on common ground now. <laughs> we're, we're getting on common ground. I'm, I'm, please don't interrupt me. Yeah, no, I'm say. Okay, look. Look, we understand what you're saying. We fully appreciate what you're saying, right? You're, you're in here for the last hour and a half. You're having a conversation with us. We started off on bad terms in the sense of obviously you, you thought we're scammers after having a bit more of conversation, understanding what we're doing. Okay. You might not still think, okay, maybe you might still think we're scammers I or you might just think. think, you know what? Okay. These guys are ambitious. However, we do understand where you're coming from. We do understand using that as a marketing. We understand that. But if you watch the Logan Paul podcast that I done with uh, Logan Paul and myself, uh, Jeff, his manager and Money Kicks, one thing was made very clear in that podcast, and you can see a clip of it on my TikTok. You can put okay. it up if you want. Now. Um, having a product that's 10% better than everybody else is good, but marketing it as 100% better will get them through the front door. Repeated users, yeah. Repeated users will keep coming back if it's a very good product. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get people to come into crypto spaces that are probably not used to the crypto space, Realizing, okay, well, now we're looking into this. It's pretty good. Let's stay here. Okay. Oh, wow. You've got a tour of Dubai coming with Aisha Speed. Okay. Let's stay here a bit longer. Okay. Oh, wow. You've got a boxing event with some of the biggest YouTubers in the world. Definitely. Okay. That's fine. What else is going on? Oh, you've got a concert happening with some of these biggest rappers in the UK. Okay. So we're doing things because let me explain one thing. To you. People want to be a part of a community. That's why people play games. People, they, people want to escape realism. Everybody's coming to a situation where times are very hard. Uh, people are living in hardship and people are struggling, and especially in the UK, to uh, to pay for their bills, pay to the energy bills. Uh, people are, are struggling to put food on the table. So what they do is they escape the realism of the problems that we have. So they go into this whole gaming metaverse, the mm -hmm. escaping realism and going to communities. And that's what we're trying to build. We've got a very, very strong community. If you was to go into our Telegram group, if you was to go into our um, Discord group and try attacking one of our members, the same way if we was to attack one of your members, your viewers, we'd get attacked by everyone. And we've seen that in your chat. And the same thing will happen if you come There's a difference. There's a key difference. The key difference is the key difference is the reason own. people they're in, in crypto, crypto chats guys. defend each other is because they're defending their own bags. They're defending no, their own money. Just that. Look, sorry to interrupt you. Um, Our crypto coin is not even look, out sorry, yet. It's look. out tomorrow. They've been in the discords for the last six, seven months. So yeah, you, I, I mean, understand you what you're saying, you but you can go no, back. But to you the guys chat. have had your NFTs out. I mean, you've been trying to you've been doing the NFT thing. Now I've heard you can stake your, you can rent your NFTs for passive income. Is that, is that part of y'all's thing too? Uh, yes, that's correct. What we're trying to do oh is, it's a supply. Guys, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. you. Like, I think it's interesting. You said like, oh, 10% better marketing, 100% better marketing. There's a difference between like ramping up your marketing and just doing completely different marketing. 
and just going like, oh, we're going to advert. We wasn't the, po the point is, hey, if you want to advertise at yourself as a game and, 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 and advertise the best looking trailer and say, hey, look how good we look. That's fine. I have no problem with gameplay trailers that look better than, frankly, the well, gameplay. I'm right? going to be honest with that's you. That's fair. He wasn't when you go and you say, hey, you can make all this money. That's where there's problems. And that's where you're going to clearly get accusations of scams. So I kind of feel like y'all are a bit honestly being unfair. Because y'all are going, wow, like y'all seem shocked that people are calling y'all scammers. But it's pretty clear from your marketing. I think you could have totally predicted this based on how you position yourselves. You think you're positioning yourself as 100% better, but you're positioning yourself as different. You're positioning yourself as a Ponzi scheme instead of a game. Or what, I don't even, there's like seven different things that are going on right now, right? One thing you have to understand is, sorry to interrupt you again, but we have over 90 key opinion leaders. Now, if you look at any of their content on TikTok, you would, or Instagram, you would have seen that they're actually more uh, crypto influencers wise, the web free marketers, that they're more influenced. They're actually describing the project. They're going into detail about what we can do and how it works and everything else. We're not promising returns with our QOLs and our cryptos. They are just advertising the products we have and how they will be used. Without we're what? Sorry, QALs? We're, uh, using, well, key opinion leaders. Key, we're using key opinion leaders as in influencers uh, to showcase our work. And then when they come on board and they start having a nose round and they start looking at stuff, that's why before we tweeted you, we said, look, we're going to be live in 30 minutes with you. If there's anything else you want from us, we'll send it to you. So when you come on live with us, all the questions you want to ask, we're on open book. No problem. We'll have this conversation with you. Now, what we're trying to say is we're using a different kind of marketing strategy because at the end of the day, there's a million metaverse projects out there. None as good as ours. However, we need to be different than everyone else. And this is where the marketing comes. And this is why we weren't anticipating a botted strategic What do you mean different from every? You, you're that. not, this is so similar to everyone else I see in crypto. What are you talking about? We have never come um, across. Uh, okay. For example, could you give me an example of an event come that has social media, YouTube boxes and use a cryptocurrency as the payment system? Uh, yeah. Emacs. Emacs. Yeah. No, they did the Logan, Floyd Mayweather fight. Sponsored by it. But... No, Logopol sponsored the, that could, one. That could, was sponsored you, by No, they were doing it. They were. You could pay yeah. for the. That's the, Ethereum Max. The, Hold on a second. Hold on. I know about Ethereum Max. He's, he's trying to trick us. Mm -hmm. You could not buy pay per view tickets with Ethereum Max. You couldn't. I thought they were and doing they that. Weren't. I really thought they no, were no, doing no, that. No, no. They sponsored no, no. it. They sponsored it. Another similar one was another one called uh, something swap. What was it? Uh, uh, they, 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 I, I think like, they were. Ad I, I don't know if that's right. I think they were at least advertising that you could. Maybe they pulled out. Because it's a yeah. nightmare to actually, when you actually go down, and this is the thing, it, it, it's two things. Both, both. I think what you're offering is a scam in that it's un unrealistic, it's never going to happen. But also I feel like fundamentally, I, 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 I feel like I almost uh, see into y'all's future a bit, and I'm like, this is not ending well. <laughs> oh, wow. he's, a, he's a future teller now. Okay, so no, I just, I just want, I listen, believe it or not, I watch, have watched a lot of crypto projects come. I've watched a lot of crypto projects go. You guys are not new. I mean, in a way, a lot of people, they just do a yoink and twist. They just take like a, an old idea and they just twist it a little bit and they keep saying like, oh, this is brand new. But fundamentally, it is an old idea. So I see you guys, I go, oh, y'all are a yoink and twist. Y'all are a yoink and twist on the play to earn model. That's fundamentally what you guys are. No, no, no. So what you're saying is if we upgrade on the previous model to hopefully tweak in such a way that we take the flaws out and make it better, it's a bad thing to improve on the past. I'm sorry? On S say again? Product. Improving on a past product to take the flaws out, or at least attempt to with new ideas, is a bad idea on innovation. That doesn't make no, sense. I think you're making the same mistakes as the other ones did, which is why I'm yeah. trying to tell you guys no, what the that's mistakes why are. we're not relying okay. totally on a play and earn yeah, mechanism. you keep focusing on that. This is the thing. We're, that's one part Mm -hmm. of our ecosystem why we played that one part with i show speed is because his audience are gamers if you look at the advertisement we done with mist he's a well-known uk rapper very big mm -hmm. it was more about singing he had a goat right. there it, it, he was in a lamborghini because his audience liked that the marketing we do is specific to their audience once we were on hobie globals exchange live with i show speed and myself and money kicks I was trying to educate them on the whole getting into crypto. Where he goes, look, I don't know much about crypto. I'm seeing everyone making money on it. And now I want to get involved. Because, I mean, everybody that got into Dogecoin, that made millions because they got into a stupid meme coin, was because of FOMO. Because people uh, 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 got 
Most yeah. people who put their money into meme coins lose it. You know that, right? Exactly. Now, meme but this is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, meme, meme coins, coins like, have nothing other than just the fact of hype. Yeah. Just hold it and hold like, it. It doesn't make sense to us when people talk about meme coins and shit coins. Safe you would not be having this conversation with the owner of Dogecoin, would you? Would you be calling Dogecoin a scam? Probably. I mean, I probably would at this point. So Dogecoin's a scam and Elon Musk's a scammer. No, I probably, Elon, I probably would Elon say Musk I would is promoting it, so he's a scammer. Yeah, Fuck I think yeah. what Elon Musk is doing is disgusting with Dogecoin. I think he's just no, no, chilling to day, retail. Dogecoin is fundamentally a zero sum game. So for someone to win, somebody has to lose. Unless there's actual so, utility, so, 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 unless so, there's actual so, utility, so, like so, people paying with the Dogecoin, and actually there's real demand for Dogecoin. It is a zero sum game. Okay. I mean, that's just so, how it is. So, okay. By the way, I, I'm, I'm actually I'm actually friends with the guy who created Doge. You know that he created it as in a joke, and literally because he was saying it was a scam, right? It's a fork of Bitcoin. No, look. No, no, but day, he was saying really it's a joke and it's a scam. He made it as a joke and like saying like it's a scam it's, and it took it's off. Like, it's, it's really but I'm telling you that the CEO, like the the guy who created the thing you're talking about, literally thought it was a joke. It was like a scam. Exactly. No, no. What a lot of people don't realize is meme coins and shit exactly? are not cryptocurrency. They're not cryptocurrency. They're just a joke of a coin where people think if you get community and you hold it long enough, it'll go up in value and they charge 2% tax or whatever on transaction. That is not a cryptocurrency in our mind. The projects that actually work, look, at the end of the day, a cryptocurrency represents a business and the business is uses and its utilities. If a business has good products that's going to make uh, returns and sales and investments and they attach your cryptocurrency as a payment system, that's a win-win. We're simply running a business with a cryptocurrency attached to it that will help run the ecosystem. Yeah, but what do you, but what do you guys have right now? You guys are advertising to a massive audience, right? A massive, naive audience of a bunch of kids, basically. A bunch of bunch of I show, it, show you know, speed that, audience, right? That, but, so y'all are advertising to this, to this retail audience. Mm. No track look, record in this space. Why should we believe little, that you're not going to be like everyone else? In now, we are not launching any decentralized exchanges. We're not doing a Uniswap. We're not doing a pancake swap because there is no age limit on that. What we are launching on is a, is a centralized exchange. We have responsibilities to them and everyone else, and no one can actually sign up to open an account on there unless they're over the age of 18. We use iShow Speed in the UK because his algorithm, when he went live, would have been majority UK audience. Majority of his UK audience be looking at analytics over the age of 18. Uh, we're not completely aware of his analytics in America, but as far as we're concerned, he's an like, adult in the UK advertising to the UK. Come on, community. guys. You guys have had to have done your research on this, right? Yeah. You've heard of him, and you're not eight years old. I've heard of him. I'm not No, I don't old. watch I him, though. Yeah, I don't... you've heard of him. No, I know, but I don't. You, you're at you're advertising to not people who know of iShow Speed. You're advertising to his no, no, watchers. No, but the people that no, the people that watch are not going to buy if they're under the age because they're not able to buy. That's like saying um, one of the biggest uh, Twitch streamers. What's the guy that? Okay, okay. No, no, no. no, no. Let what's me give you a example. Uh, the guy that's stake. I want to have a stake. Agent. Agent, Agent Ross. So Agent Ross is one of the largest Twitch streamers. He advertises nightly playing a gambling casino. With a cryptocurrency called Stake, he gets paid a million dollars a month. Uh -huh. Why are they a million dollars worth? Why, are they Why is he not a scammer? Why is he not being called out for doing that? Because the majority he has been called out by me. Yeah, literally, and what? That's what he's doing. doing. Oh my gosh, guys, guys, Why? welcome Why? to the channel. Y'all need to do y'all's research now. No, we, we all these. Yeah, look, dude, look, okay, don't. We're look, not going to get into this age gating conversation because fundamentally, right. I don't care. No. But if you're no, trying to say that no, no, no. This, these age gates are serious, it's hilarious. Like, it's like that's not no, 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 real. No, no, no. If you're saying I, that, listen, it's, it's, either it's you guys are terrible no, no. at marketing, not, no, no, like no, no, with like the I show speed no, thing, no, no, that was a huge fail and a demographic fail, right? Because basically, you're saying like most of Speed's audience is ill ineligible or you're targeting young naive naive people who don't know anything who want to dump a few bucks into some random crypto no the end of the day look, what i'm trying to say is it's like saying oh gamble away oh yeah i can't believe your thing was like oh look at aiden ross he's taking millions of dollars to advertise gambling to young audiences how is that bad no, no, that is one, bad. What are you trying to say? So that is, is bad to so some extent. Is... But if he's able to advertise No, your point it, was that it's not bad. It. Your whole point yeah. was that it wasn't bad. It's not bad because he's not able to allow those people under the age of 18 to take part in it. If someone's over the age of 18 and they want to come that's like on, saying, you what, can't that's like be saying, real. You can't, you, like it can't be a, a serious channel. conversation. That's like, saying, no, that's like saying Die Hard, a Christmas movie plays in the daytime, and now all of a sudden kids under the age of 12 are exposed to violence now. Die Hard is not allowed to be paid on Christmas before 6 8 p.m. It's like saying kids don't watch porn until they're 18, right? 
uh, apparently do because it's illegal. So they we, can't do that. Can't... They're scammers. That's that's they shouldn't they, do that. That's illegal. The, the, all those kids are scammers. All right, forget I don't that. Don't see the kids. That's going nowhere. Oh my right? gosh! Look, how do we prove to you that we are not scammers? Because raise look, your biggest concerns. We'll raise answer. your biggest concerns. We'll answer. Yeah, simple now, as that. Uh, okay, maybe you don't believe in our products, but maybe we could just but... what we're doing. Understand. I've I've I've, I've already I've already you're raised my you're... biggest concerns. I've already raised my biggest concerns, and what I would say so you just, because is you that... don't like our game. No, I think the fact that your game doesn't seem to be on par with AAA games, you compared yourself to a AAA okay, game, game. Okay, fine. You're not Maybe, a AAA game. Okay, okay, Why okay, do so, you ask so, questions if you don't want to let me answer them? No, no, but you're saying you're saying you're saying that maybe because our game's not as good as everybody else's game. Okay, call mainstream. us a shit crypto project. Don't call us a scam. Uh, call us a scam. Call us a shit crypto project in your eyes. I, I mean, think what you guys are offering in terms of APY, I think what you guys are offering in terms of APY is a scam, though. Oh, and no, I think it's, it's based on Pontinomics. Yeah, I do. No, there's, we, we actually, that's the average uh, average return on majority of cryptocurrency projects that we compare to. We don't just... Oh, the, the average return of a cryptocurrency project is 20%. On the NATO currency, yeah. On the other currency that's take within it, they can get like 7%. Come on, nigga, fellas. Yeah, on we, can't be, we can't be real here. Yeah, yeah. If you look at the... Uh, have you heard of Hex? One of the biggest cryptocurrencies. Ah! Uh, come on, y'all cannot be serious. You you think Hex is a scam as well? Because because of what? Yes. Kind of... Well, Dude, that's your opinion yes. on that because they're still here and they're still doing amazing. It's and, funny that, right? I mean, no, no, no. What Richard Hart has done with Hex is he's managed to have a large group of people that ain't selling. He has a uh -huh. market cap of in the forties or 30, 20 billion, mm -hmm. and he has a daily volume of less than ten million dollars. Now, what he has Most, done is the a the average return for hex users in the next let's let's carry it out right don't think small think 100 years the yeah. average return for hex users like in terms of how many dollars they put in versus how many dollars they took out is going to be negative guess who got rich richard hart got rich no the people that bought when he told them to hold and Wait, buy but but if, but eventually but eventually what happens to hex does it just go up forever no because well, what, getting, what, no, no, well no. what happens to tesla eventually what is just gonna tesla hey, produces bought, cars that people fundamentally buy no that's like saying someone buys a product today a tesla for example and in 20 years time it's out of date and it's worth nothing look every product now the way you No 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 wait 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 wait, wait. Wait, is, wait, fundamentally, look, guys, I don't think you guys like, understand the difference no, 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 between no, Ponzi schemes and between a, between actual uh, products. I don't think you guys are getting this. You guys keep bringing up Tesla. Do we under do we understand, fellas, with the difference difference between a Ponzi scheme and a product, a company that produces it's a product? Like business is a Ponzi scheme. If you have no new customers coming in and buying your yeah, product, that's what we're trying to do. Look, look what we're trying to explain a is business that does business not business produce business. a product is a Ponzi scheme. Yes, correct. Exactly. So have we not your service? Forget that. Have we not demonstrated we have a game? Have we not demonstrated we have a power pad, launch pad? I've, try, launch I've, pad I've tried to I've tried to walk you walk you through this though. No, 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 no. We're gonna stick on that certain topic you mentioned, which is a Ponzi or a scam is something that doesn't have a product that is viable and uh, exists. no people primarily go that we have already no, shown people don't go to it for the utility, they go to it for the money. And when the money dries up. Everyone tries to get out because they're like, oh, crap, I don't actually care about this thing that much. And I should take my money out the U.S. dollar then. A lot of people have. A lot of people have been regretting it. I mean, some people hate oh, the U.S. US dollars. dollars. So are we agreeing U.S. dollars is a scam? I mean, the treasury can't trust them. No. We should go to digital currency that they're making, which is a crypto Guys, y'all have a thing where you could just go like, is this a scam? Is this a scam? I'm being very clear. The thing is, the you, seem you, to call a lot. you seem to generalize yeah. everything as a scam and then individually pick, pick projects like ours and say, yeah, you're a scam. No, you don't I'm like not. Games? games? No problem. You're a scam. I'm, sho okay. I'm scam. showing you. I'm showing you, A, okay, I'm showing so you whole trends. Of I'm showing you both general and specific things. I'm showing you trends, right? The trend of blockchain gaming. And you guys admitted it yourself. You say, yeah, we don't even think our this whole thing is sustainable. You guys admitted that. Oh. The whole thing second, we said a game, a play and play to earn games is not system. sustainable. That's what it you has said. To have a larger ecosystem that runs on the same cryptocurrency. So then, the next thing, so I bring for, I bring trends, and then I say, hey, your claims to certain APY claims, certain 10x, 100x claims are ridiculous. They're absurd, and they're going to get people ruined if they actually believe you guys. 
Oh, we're going to get rewarded if they actually believe us. Okay. So basically what you're saying is we're minting tokens to reward our users. Is that what you're saying? When we have five different products that bring daily transactional volume to our platform, that would be supplying and rewarding them. Should we schedule a stream for a, from a year from now and just see how we're doing? Let's, let's do let's, it in a week time. Every you know what, you week. Know what, let's go back onto this chat. One no, second. no, no, no. no go back into chat one second. One second. One second. I just, I just want to show thing. you one That's thing. You guys want to do short-term thinking. I'm thinking the next five to ten years of your project, and I'm thinking about all the people I, I, no, who no, will, will the have lost money. The thing is, a scam. As you said a get-rich-quick scheme. So, the, what I'm trying to explain to you guys, what I'm trying to explain to you guys, right? And I'm just going to prove one thing to you. One second. I'm just literally finishing you up now. One second. All right, I am okay. going to have to go in a bit here, fellas, because I'm getting Can you give very us tired. Fifteen so. minutes. Fifteen minutes just to fight our cause. Because, I mean, we got called a scammer 90% of your show. Give us 15 minutes to confirm that we're not scammers. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, you, you're going to have to let me talk on this one. Go for right? it. Right? Well, yes. you're not going to talk for 15 minutes, are you? We'll try. We're going to try. Oh, boy. What, you, what we got from I'll this I'll interrupt them, guys, if they're getting too much. Okay, go ahead. No, no. We're going to keep it very – we're going to keep it very mutual. We're going to end it mutually, right? As far as I am concerned, um, you think – Playing and games is a complete and utter scam, which is fine. That's your opinion. However, you've got a large contingency of people that believe playing um is not a scam. You think for some reason ninety percent of the cryptocurrencies are a scam. However, there's a large percentage of people that believe cryptocurrencies. That's been borne out by facts. It doesn't matter what people believe, okay, that's though. Fine. That's not a problem. But what I'm trying to say is then to turn around and shame us and say, you know what, you guys are a scam because you're a cryptocurrency that's launched a game that okay. It might be the best in um, the crypto games. However, you know what? You're not competing by with the, the crypto way, games. By the way, I think you th you're taking it personally that I'm shaming you. Space. I'm warning no, no. my audience no, because us. it is my – listen, I, I am warning my audience because it is my opinion what you guys are offering is too yeah. good to be true. So I'm warning my audience. I don't see yeah. what your big deal with that is. You've because been on you've been on your own show. I've seen you on podcasts saying like, "Oh, I don't care what the haters say. The haters can say what I they don't. want." No, but, but, but when but we get bought and no. actually calling someone a scam. scam now, if you type my word. name, if you type my name on YouTube, you will see, you'll see that, right? And I know we come across very unintelligent right now because it's like nine o'clock in the morning now. We haven't slept for two days. We're trying to fight our cause because at the end of the day, we got in rudely interrupted by. Um, let's just say a strategic attack. We don't know where it came from. Maybe from our competitors. Maybe from someone that's afraid that we are going to launch. Right? It happens in this. Who do you, space. Who do you think the person is that's afraid of you? Aisha Speed's comments right Who's now. Who's afraid of you? Guys, uh, well, we don't know. Apparently, we find apparently out. there might be some guys out there that have something against us. If you go onto Aisha Speed's last video, it's got two million views right now in less than twelve hours, and ninety percent of his comments are the same exact words. That's what happens L time. forward slash scam. Yeah. Now you guys have to understand we're strategically getting attacked. Why? Because people like yourself that don't like paradox. Because people like yourself that don't like crypto, that's people like yourself that don't like play and earn games because 90% of all crypto is a scam. That's your opinion. If you don't like it, shove it up your ass. No one cares. There's 90% of people out there in the but, crypto but space. People, but people do crypto. care. That's why they tune in to listen. So, oh, but, so you're saying it's my opinion, so just let me say my opinion. People in crypto will see this interview and say, you know what, guys? We can see what's right from wrong. Okay. You just don't like crypto, and we are crypto guys. No, no, no. But that's, like, but that's like, not and all opinion. it is, all it is, all it is, is because we're in your, we're not your average suit and tie kind of guys. We don't speak the proper Queen's English. I think that's what it is. Maybe you don't like the color of our skin. Whatever the situation. Oh my gosh! Is. Wow. Whatever your personal opinion is about us, doesn't matter. No, no, I do. No. Our project speaks for itself. You don't like our game? Not a problem. There's plenty of people within that community. 25,000 just in our Discord, 28,000 in our Telegram that love our game. That's what it's I'm your thinking. opinion. I don't like your suspenders. Doesn't mean that it's a scam. That's your opinion. Uh -huh. However, to label us a scam because you don't like something, that's that's not. When we wait, have wait, 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 but, 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 evidence, 
about tokenomics. You say, you say I don't, you say I don't like it, but I've given you evidence of why I- Biggest security firm in the world. I've we given you evidence why I think you are a we scam. Are we I've a given you evidence of why I think it's a scam. Wait, wait, the president, yeah, it's CEO, it's CEO, yeah, it's the president, yeah, CEO, back CEO back of Polymatic, one of the largest cryptocurrencies in the world. Polymatic, Google it right now. They sat down with us, they looked at everything that we have done, and they have turned around and said, this is the best play and earn game we have ever seen. Please bridge it and make it on our Polygon network. So please, I understand you don't like it, but there's a lot of people of people in the crypto space that love our project. But then labeling us a scam and putting all of our hard work because what? We got attacked on a serious uh, a botting in, in the comments. That's, 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 that's Can I tell you what I don't like? I don't like that we've spent like an entire Andrew, conversation. No, no, no. no, That's what I don't. Is. What is. No, I don't like that I've spent a long time talking to you, and you seem to have not internalized any of my actual talking points. And you built up this caricature of you in your head where you go, "You don't like me because of this. You don't like me because I say, hey, I don't like you because you got these Ponzi nomics.'" You go, "Oh, you must not like me because of the color of my skin." And I go, "No, no, no. I'm just saying that like blockchain ga games." Are Typically, when they're not AAA quality, have tended to go south. And okay. you go, oh, you don't okay. like me because I'm okay. Andrew Tate. Andrew's no, I'm telling you exactly why I think you're a scam, not just why I don't like you. I actually don't mind you guys. I actually think, it, you know, in another in another life, it could have been fine. I have no nothing personal against you guys. I am just calling it as I see it. I think your game in the long run could, is going to do could poorly. You, could because you phrase that with, I think plain and games are scams rather than us? And then label us the whole of playing and games. Yeah, that sounds fair. Rather than us. Because you're targeting. Oh, you've gone. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not targeting, though. I mean, I just make videos about things. I've talked about play to earn games before, I believe. And I'm guessing they were all positive. <laughs> yeah, they were all positive. I mean, again, yeah. I, don't, I don't see what the big deal is. I mean, from, from what it's you guys are saying. You know what it is? You know it is? We, yeah, was sure. going to, we was going mm -hmm. to hold off our launch, right? For another day so we can have this whole interview so your viewers and the rest of the world can see what we're actually doing back here yeah but the thing is is it's it's like talking to a brick wall it's like speaking to someone that doesn't really understand what we're doing here and us talking to you for another 10 it's hours, like talking to somebody who you're like an mlm guy and you're telling me like no the business model will work and i'm telling you no 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 mlms do not work no, no, no. I'm playing other games. I'm playing. Uh, do you believe in MLMs? Do you believe MLMs are a, are, are a net positive for society? It's, it's, you know what? You know what? No, no, no honestly, no. answer that it's question. Entertaining. You know what? Oh, it's been entertaining. It's yeah. been tiring. Um, we're going to call it on a you don't like Bitcoin. You don't like Bitcoinists. You don't like playing earned games. You I didn't say like... I didn't like Bitcoin. You think you think You'll you, find you don't think we're a scam. You just you just think that we're not gonna no i think you're a scam when you just don't you think, just we're gonna think make we're, it. yes that's the difference i think that's what, what it is you what? don't think we're a scam you just think, I do think you're that we're not gonna make it that's what it is and you love using the word scam because it's more clickbait and gets yes more viral. it gets more viral that's what no it is. i think i think you're a scam and i think people are going to get hurt if they put tons of money into your project okay uh we are... we'll have another call in a year time and after we'll have another call in a year time and after we'll have another call okay. in a year time and hopefully okay. by then it's done more. So 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 we're a scam or, or is it a rug pull? Which one is it? I don't think it's a rug pull. I took a token sniff of your project. Um and I think you're uh I think just the overall structure of it, the Ponzi nomics are unsustainable. But I've okay. taken so, I take so, a look so I took a, a I took a look at your well, not that I can tell. I mean I have no idea what you're hiding in your smart contract, but I did the basic audits but, and I But our smart contract is audited by Certic. It can you can Google it. I, I, look, I looked at that. Yeah, yeah. It's not yeah. finished, so, though. So, so, so nothing, the, we made, made, but, it, it, but it's not a finished yeah. audit, though, just to be clear. Oh, so that's why yeah, I'm it, hedging it, that. It is a finished audit. We've actually got the finished audit yeah, here. We've already released it. it. Yeah. Okay, but, but it's not online, so I couldn't have known that. I have no uh, idea what you all are looking at. My point is is that I'm not calling you guys a rug pull. I'm very careful with my words. I'm saying I think you're a scam because I think your business model is fundamentally Ponzi-like. You're saying, hey, you don't like us, you don't whatever. I don't really care. I mean, I just met you guys. I have no idea, you know? So I think that's basically it. Uh, okay. I guess guys, that's it. Is that it, boys? That's, uh, that's yeah, You know what it I mean, is, right? We can you know explain it's... everything to you, and you still just hear. Do, 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 do you know what? Do you know what? Let's do this again tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. Let's do this again tomorrow. Why? Oh, let's do this again tonight. Why? Because our queen's going to launch. I'm falling asleep. Why? What, what's happening tonight?
our coin is launching today at 12 so, p.m. On so, Poly what would Exchange. it mean if your coin let's have blows this, up? Let's have, I mean, let's have this call tonight, but let's get someone that is neutral. Yeah. Pro but, crypto, pro crypto. Wait, but that's not neutral. And also, though. and also pro scammers, right? Uh, sorry, pro non 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 Ponzi schemes. Whatever. That's me, though. Got, that, that's you're describing me. But you're not. You're not no, pro you crypto. You got a hidden agenda, man. You, you're not pro What's crypto. What's my hidden agenda? So, you just you don't you, like paying again. You just don't like crypto. You just don't like. Do you guys know I game. own crypto? Okay, well, the thing is, the crypto USDT. you own is probably USDT, right? No, so it's. <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh! You though? guys know nothing. You I, right, give me USDT is a giant scam too. You guys can't call like you guys have no. Do you idea. have USDT? Do you have USDT? No. How did you buy your crypto? On Coinbase. What are you talking about? How did you buy your crypto? on Coinbase? Okay, how? Bank deposit. You exchanged USD. Oh, sorry? Bank deposit. So you okay. never you exchange your USDT. For I'm your not lying. I promise you. Okay. Uh, what you don't realize is it's paid against it. Yeah. Regardless. Unless so you, you are, you are, you are in definition. No, it's not. They literally use you have USDC. In your wallet right you, now. You, they use point. USDC. They use USDC. Okay. You guys understand not, that. No, I would no, never touch it. USDT. Or if I did, I would drop it as soon as I could. Curious, just curious, just curious, just curious, just curious. What crypto do you hold? Just curious. I don't like you? talking about what crypto I hold, and I'll tell you why. I don't. Okay. I think it's it's seen as implicitly an endorsement, and um, I'm not saying the cryptos I hold are are uh, gonna be long term projects. So I don't. I don't believe you should kind of disclose these things. What I will tell you is that most of them are in the top ten. I think all of them right now are in the top ten, and I really don't buy any of the, like- we with two cryptocurrencies on the top ten, which we can give you, provide you with 100% evidence right now, if you want. Sorry? So if we were scams, why would the top two- Why is it good enough said, for them? You, why is it good enough for the top ten cryptocurrencies, two of the top ten cryptocurrencies, is all right for them, companies that are probably worth a billion, uh -huh. and have- Due diligence teams that do this for a living. I don't know what right? the question. It's, what's the what's the question? Sorry. So it's all right for them, but it's not all right for you. What's what? This is a video, and you know what? We've actually got the video here. Let's let's bring it okay. out. Copy hold is a safe moon, safe moon whale. Oh god, that's boring. Did you buy safe moon by any chance? No. Why is it? Uh, these are all one? shit coins. These are all scams. Y'all keep asking me if I buy these but, scams. But, but the thing is, the comments have said this, so it's true. <laughs> This is what we're trying to say. The comments said we are scammers, and now we're sitting here on a conversation with no, you. No, that's never not to why. Comments. You guys were brought to my why attention. Why turn around now and you tell guys... my community? Oh my God, Coffee Hope, Coffee promotes two percent APY. Oh, Coffee Zilla, you got your own crypto account. This is what we're trying APY. to say. Just by listening to the comments and someone messing with you and trying. Oh, nobody to... listen to the Link comments, is guys. Link is a scam. They have an API system does not work with blockchain technology for outside data. People but... are trolling you guys right now. Oh my community is trolling you. Oh my god. This is what we're trying to say. Dude, you need to get a call with Coffee Zilla. Needs to get a call with Chainlink. This is what we're trying to uh -huh. say. So you shouldn't listen too much about comments and just because what the comments says. If you're getting trolled, if you was to get botted right mm -hmm. now, say Coffee Zilla hates Bitcoin. Let me give Does that mean it's true? No, of course not. But that's why we're here now. It's because like, no, no. because our coin got uh, um, we, uh, our live stream got bought and everyone said it was a scam. Okay, no, Solano, that's not why y'all are is here. Solano bad, is Solano a bad cryptocurrency because they worked with FTX? Y'all aren't here because you got caught because you got called a scam on Speed Show. Y'all are here because I took a look at your white paper and it looked ridiculous. So, but you said oh. our tokenomics looked good. So we're not wrong. When did I say your when did I when did I say your tokenomics look good? We're just we're just we're just not good business. Wait, 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 uh, wait, wait. When did I say your tokenomics looks good? You said yeah, you said literally. You said your tokenomics your tokenomics look good. No, I uh, said your smart contract doesn't look like a rug pull, which is a very specific type of scam. There are many types said, of scams. I said you guys don't look like a going rug to pull. Give our contract, smart uh -huh. contract, Certic, the biggest auditing uh -huh. company in the world, mm -hmm. right? Um, knowing that, you know what? You know they don't say anything about tokenomics, right? Like, they're not going to say, like, yeah, hey... Who does say stuff about tokenomics? The investors that buy into it... Oh, like, like, like if you're saying, like, like, like if it's a 50%, it. if it's a 50% tax. But what I'm saying is tokenomics is more than just taxes no, and things no, like no, that. I'm okay. about, it's distributions, okay, okay, it's all these do things. Do you know, do you know who this is? <clears throat> I can't see. Who is that? Who is that? Founder of. Go ahead. Who is it? 
Who is it? I don't know. No one can hear. You're just being quiet. Dead air. Dead air. Guys, who, what are we talking about here? What are we doing here? Okay. This is the co-founder of Polygon Matic, one of the cryptocurrencies that you uh, probably hold. Because uh, you, you said you hold some cryptocurrencies in the top 10. I so believe then, I, I, so it's most likely that you hold their cryptocurrency in your wallet. You guys you, make you crazy have, assumptions. Uh, no, 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 no but, but we're just going by what you said. They want to, we had a three hour meeting with them. We showed them everything. They loved our project so much and believed and believed. And to prove you wrong, we will get him to tweet this tomorrow. To prove you wrong. He believes that this is so far the best play and earn game he has ever seen. Quote unquote, you can quote me on that. Okay. And he asked us, please bring this over to the Polygon network. Sure. For him, he's a guy that has built one of the biggest and the best cryptocurrency projects in the whole world. Unfortunately, guys, okay guys, him, you guys, you, is you, not guys good enough. you guys keep. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. It's been a pleasure, my friend. And we should definitely <laughs> do this again. Maybe let's get. Uh, another Zoom okay. call lined up today, this evening, and we'll. That's not yeah, happening. We'll do it again. No, it's not happening. Uh, maybe in a year time. In a year maybe time in a year time. time. You don't think we're a scam. Let's right? hope you no, just think I, we're. Listen, a scam. listen. Honest, honestly, you don't think we're a rug pull. You just think. You I know do what? think you're a scam. Oh, so you think we're a scam now? So this whole conversation was pointless, much now. Well, I've been telling you the entire time that I think think you're a scam. Yeah, because you're not listening. That's because you don't listen. Anyway, I am listening. Let's get some, let's no, get... you just want to entertain, entertain your viewers and think you're clever with your little smirk. It's, yeah, you're not. No, it's I... a joke. <laughs> no, no, you have a question. I you guys you. are entertaining, I will say. That's it's why not about I'm, entertainment. That's why I'm we're smiling. in the entertainment business. But what I'm trying to say is, we're trying to make it entertaining with your viewers because yeah. everyone can see through your bullshit. At the end of the day, everyone can, they? can see. Everyone okay. can see through your bullshit. Everyone can yeah. see. What's my bullshit? What, what, what is it? What is We're it? Just trying to jump what on is the my bullshit though? What is my bullshit? Uh, what am my I bullshit doing? Where's the number one crypto getting hashtag paradox metaverse right now on the internet? And you thought, you know what? Let me clickbait it and jump on, right? This is what you're trying to do. And then you're trying to make it entertaining for your viewers. But anyone that understands crypto uh -huh. that is actually a Bitcoinist will look at this project and say, you know what? These guys are not going to be talking about and you're just full of shit. Thank you for having us on your channel. God bless okay. you. <laughs> And best of luck in your ventures. I know uh -huh. we come across very outspoken that and uh -huh. we've upset you. We apologize and God bless you and your family and good luck to you guys. Okay. All right. Well, thanks guys. Oh, that's that's it from them. Okay. All right. What do we think, fellas? What do we think of the paradox? Let's pop out the chat, boys. Let's see what the chat thinks. Oh my gosh. Let's see here. Um, L scam. Guys, quit being bots. This is embarrassing me. You're embarrassing me with your bot uh, behavior here. Um, interesting topic, I would say. Um, what, nearly a thousand viewers here. Uh, and yeah, that's basically it. Just wanted to give them the chance to respond because I am putting out a video tomorrow about this, explaining my uh, thoughts on all this. And uh, yeah. I'll stop that. That's way too loud. Um, but I, yeah, I, I'm putting out my thoughts tomorrow about this. So I'll explain once again why I think they're a scam. But I explained to them here as well. So stop botting, guys. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one. All right. See ya.